Let me get my Sims 2 soundtrack on. All right, here we go. Unfortunately, everyone, we have to play the 100 baby challenge. I know, I know. But we're gonna be really brave. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get through this together. <laughs> We've had 45 babies and, and we're gonna be fine. We're getting there. In fact, oh, come on, please. In fact, today I would like to get to baby 50 if possible. I think that's my number one goal is to see if we can get halfway through this, sort of. <laughs> You're early? Yeah, well, um, early in I guess a couple ways. Number one, I don't usually stream at 9 a.m. on Saturdays, but I'm gonna be busy later. Um, and number two, uh, I guess I went live at 8.58 instead of at nine. Uh, but yeah, but I, I have some plans later because my friend Hope is coming into town, so I'm gonna be- Whoa! I'm gonna be seeing Hope, so I can't stream later. <laughs> so I'm here now instead. <laughs> okay, that's toothpaste. Um, also, uh, as per usual, every time I play this stupid challenge, I leave myself with a fresh infant that has no milestones. So we're kind of working on that. Also, my sim is pregnant. Um, she's gonna give birth in a couple days, um, and that's kind of what we're up to right now. <laughs> I don't like this challenge! It just takes too long. It takes too long. It's boring. It's just like... It's never pleasant. Okay, how about the other kids? You have a B in school. You're probably gonna get an A in school today. Oh, I can get rid of this too. There we go. It's five in the morning here. I was not ready for that notification. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. <laughs> Wait, there's a level between baby and toddler now? Anna, have you actually not seen? I'm about to change your life. If you've not been around and you haven't seen it, your, your life is about to change, my friend. <laughs> um, welcome to the brand new life state called infant. It ages up from a newborn into that thing, and then into a toddler. You're in for a lovely surprise. <laughs> Depending on how you look at it. It might also be a bad surprise. I don't really know what, how you're feeling about it, but... <laughs> uh, Christina, thank you for the sub gifts. And Marie, and Anna, and Barry, and B and Paige, and Lucy, and Jean, and Shelly. I should just let the game run. And Bob, and Do It and Becky, and Blueberry, and Courier, and Joe, and Benny, and, o and Ona, and Amber. Thank you all so much for the subs. Okay. Okay. Reach Milestone Unlocked. See, that's what that's the spirit, kid. That's what you need. Now we need to play with the toys. Basically, the way the rules for this challenge work is I have to get all the infants um, two milestones in each of the categories. All the toddlers need three skills. The kids need A's in school. Um, and that's kind of the situation. So... Infants are not only DLC content, no. Um, infants are base game. There's some extra content in the DLC if you have it, but infants are base game. Um, if you have the DLC, then you get the milestone stuff, um, where, like, they can learn how to crawl and learn how to do this, but by default, they just know how to crawl and, and they are infants. Um, so, anyway, that's kind of how it works. Um... Just like how toddlers are base game, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sinful and Melba and Nora and Astral and Christina and, and Rue, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, yeah, this, the 100 Baby Challenge with infants, I used to think it was hard before we had infants, and now we have infants, and life is just really rough. <laughs> it, it makes this challenge take so much longer. <laughs> Yeah, if you buy the DLC, if you buy Growing Together, it makes the infants, like, they basically suck if you buy Growing Together because they have, um, no abilities. And I'm not really even exaggerating when I say that. Ooh. I like to call all the gifts that you get in the mail child support. Thank you. Um, I'll also open up these presents. I'm a, oops, no, 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 I'm a celebrity, so. We get fan mail. Is that an apple pie? Oh my goodness, ooh. And yikes on the spoiled food. Um, I don't really know how that happened, to be honest. So we'll see how that goes. Open fan mail, open fan mail, open fan mail. Okay, we'll sell those next. Um, no, I don't mean the base game infants are bad. I mean that like when you have the pack, 
the pack infants have like no abilities. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. <laughs> They have to they have to learn how to do stuff, so it takes a little bit longer, basically. Um, when you have the pack and fence, they can't do much else. Um, I guess you can just come eat some of this. How about that? Okay. Toilet is broken, is it? Oh yeah, that that would be the case, huh? Okay. Now I gotta do this, oh my goodness. At least with the baby challenge, we can just kind of talk, you know, everybody? We can just kind of chat and, and hang out, and it's fine. <laughs> you yeah, know, it's Alina and Rue and Simple and Fruit Loops and Melba and Nora, thank you for the subs. Oh my god. Let me show you around the house a little bit too. So here's the downstairs. We have kind of like a colorful main living area. This is the baby room. We have the kid and teen room. Uh, we have a shared bathroom my primary bedroom, lots of stuff in the backyard. Um, this is for doing school projects. And then in the basement, um, these are all of the, the baby daddies. <laughs> oh no. I've just realized, oh, I didn't fix this. I've just realized that um, this is the first time we've played this ever since uh, Bruins incident. So Twitch, just to be, just to be clear, not all of these are men. It's not about men, okay? Shh. <laughs> look, look, see? I swear it. Anyway, let me show you my spreadsheet also, so that you know what we're talking about here. Um, <laughs> on the spreadsheet, um, I have all of the babies and the uh, names of the baby daddies and all such information. Um, you can see on this page, these are all the babies that we've had and uh, the person who is their other parent. Um, this is all of the rats. Uh, this is sort of the key for what the, it's kind of zoomed out, maybe I'll zoom in for you. We have sort of the key so that uh, you know if someone died, if they got deleted, if neighborhood stories got them. We've had five of our own kids die, but only when they're grown. Um, we've had 31 dads seven rats, and then we also have a very long list of name suggestions that people donated all of these name suggestions during my big charity event back in May. Every single person here paid $25 to get their name on this list. Um, and the yellow is the name of a baby and the green is the name of a rat. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> coffee and classmates homework. How about that? How are you kids doing? Fill them in, I don't know. You saw Taylor Swift? Yeah, oh, I need to put the baby count on the screen again, too. We have a baby count in the stream title, but I'll put it on the screen again, too. What's a rat, like a pet rat? Yeah, like a rat. It's actually a void critter thing. It's not really a, a rat in the classic sense, but <laughs> it's the document public. Yeah, that's why I just put the link in the chat, Rose. Um, it's exclamation point babies. So, okay. See, the maid is gonna put the food back in the fridge, which is no good. They don't, they like take it away from here, which always kind of stresses me out, but I'm sure it's fine. Wait, did you stop taking care of the baby? What are you doing? You have to do, I tried to line up a bunch of tummy time. Get it together. Come on. Ugh. <sighs> Can you play the baby challenge and have just one father, like having just one mother for as long as possible? Um, I mean, you can do whatever you want, right? But I think that part of the challenge of the 100 baby challenge is to have a, another parent and have it be different every time because you have to like, like get to know them enough and then go through the pregnancy. Like, so it's, it's sort of like is a time constraint thing. Um, to have to like meet someone else and then, and then befriend them. And then if you want to woohoo them, um, and so I think that's like an added part of the challenge is to have more than one dad. But if you wanted to do it with just one, that's fine. You do whatever you like, you know? I don't really Russia. cheat <laughs> by all means. <laughs> the Sims is supposed to be fun, you know? <laughs> you could also play with a dad and have different moms if you wanted to, or you could play with all dads or all moms. You could do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, but um, I think that it, I think that like it's part of the challenge to have separate additional parents, so. Um, 
And I also think that like the, the so people, we've been, we've been talking a lot about science babies now in this challenge, um, ever since the science babies update happened. Um, and sort of my thoughts, at least for me personally, as I'm playing this, I don't think that I want to use science babies because I think that the pregnancy is like part of the challenge. Just because, I mean, I guess you could like force yourself to wait between babies or whatever, but I think that like having the pregnancy and having like the, you need to have three days in between babies is like an added challenge aspect. And also the bonus of pregnancy is your sims don't age. So my sim is still a young adult and she has 45 kids. So it's kind of nice because then she lives longer and she has like all these traits and she's got all these skills and like, um, it's kind of nice in that way. Um, but you can do whatever you want with science babies. I just, I feel like for me and how I play, um, I kind of prefer to like go through the pregnancy because it makes it, it's like easier and harder at the same time for different reasons. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, imagine having 45 kids. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, there's no cooldown with the science babies. You can have as many science babies as you want. Um, it's just money, I guess, but we we can get money pretty easily. Uh-oh, kid's hungry. I'll help you, sorry. Um, baby care. Let's, I'm gonna bottle feed you so I can sell the bottle. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Tammy and Meow and Clary, thank you for the subs. Ugh. Rags to Riches Science Baby Challenge. What does that even mean? <laughs> that's so scary. Oh, was Discord only 15 minutes late today? Well, that's pretty good. Discord's definitely done worse. Oh, you have level 5 movement skill? Uh oh. Oh, you can age up. Oh. Oh. Well, we'll start there. Okay, this kid has all the skills it needs, so we can get you aged up. You're a newer baby, so you don't have yours yet. What's wrong with you? Maybe I'll have, as soon as you're done feeding it, can you put the kid to sleep? Okay. You got it now too? Oh, good! Discord sometimes sends out the notification like an hour into the stream. The Discord notification is quite delayed on mobile sometimes, so. After careful consideration, I've brought a horse into the family. <laughs> Uh, this is one of my children. Um, wow. So, I'm not coming over. Someone did ask a minute ago if we have any grandkids yet. I guess the answer is yes. <laughs> I guess the answer is yes, we have a horse now. <laughs> good appetite. Oh, that's a helpful quirk. Okay, good. Okay, good. Um, here's the family tree, by the way, in case any of you were curious quite chaotic, so. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, baby to sleep. Self-soother and good appetite. Oh my goodness, this baby has some perfect traits. Play lullaby. And then let's age up the next baby. Help blow out candles for smelly. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. You could hire a ranch hen just to have a baby with them. <laughs> Isn't that bad? Oh, horse lover! We just had a horse! Well, there you go! Okay. That's the next kid. Come here, buddy. Don't eat it! Don't- Ugh! It wasn't quick enough. Okay, you can eat that. We have to make another cake. It's fine. Maybe I should start cooking some gourmet cakes so I can work on building the skill. Hmm. Miss Mosky, thank you for the gifted subs, and Angelique, and Edgemany, and Luna, and Falling Sky, and Pickles, and Flamingos, thank you for the subs. Cook a gourmet meal. White and black cake, how about that? There we go, and you kid, how about you shower? And then, I like to have them work on these school projects, because that gets us, um, it's like skill building, but it also gets their grades up a little bit, so it's quite helpful. New mom at 50. No, I'm going to wait until we, I'm going to try and keep her for as long as possible, I think. Or maybe if we have a kid that I'm, I'm really uh, inspired by, I don't know, but I'm, I, she's still quite young. She's not even an adult yet. So, um, we're doing okay there. I think we also have to pick who the next baby's going to, or who the next baby daddy is going to be. So 
Maybe just a new house? Yeah, that might be fun if we built a, a new house completely from scratch. These two can become- oh no, you got a bee, never mind. The kids are gonna get to age up soon. I really like the house right now though is the problem, but I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. Your skill's fine. Do you want to work on this one too? We can talk to a bear so we can get you aged up. All right, as soon as your mom finishes the cake, we can age you up. Um, yeah, we've still, we've kind of been like slowly expanding the house. We're like working on the upstairs. We just got a garage. Um, I'm really liking what we've got so far. I don't really, I don't know. We can build something newish soon, but. Joe, I would very much like to get to 50 kids today. That's my goal, I think, is to have 50. <laughs> Chaos with the 40 months and Flatty and May and, and everybody that you for the subs. Okay. Would you like to add some birthday candles to this? And then you can age up into a teen so we can get rid of you. The house is on the gallery. Yeah, pink glitter. It is on the gallery. There's a few variants of it on the gallery too because I've like slowly been adding to it. So, um... Maybe with the maid? We can maybe do that. Ooh, party animal. Okay. Can you add birthday candles back to this again? Please, quick. All right, kid, what do you need? School projects. <laughs> That's what you need is school projects. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um, you're good, you're good. You are not good. <laughs> are you gonna get a bath? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. The answer is yes, you are. Do you still have teens in the house? Yeah, so the way the challenge works, what are you doing? Are you gonna bathe the kid or not? The way the challenge works, um, you have to keep the teens in the house until they get an A in school. Which, if in an ideal world, will be tomorrow. Um, so we have to get an A in school and then move out. And the goal is to move them out as quickly as possible because then we can have more kids. Um, and, you know, the cycle continues. <laughs> um, okay. This should be fine. No, we haven't had any kids die from old age. Oh my god. First blowout milestone complete. Yikes. Did you not even get the bath? I thought you got bathed. Whatever. You know what? I could probably make it without bathing you. If we can get your skill up, if we have you just babble to this enough times, it might be okay before we manage to bathe you. I can give a bath to the infant though. <laughs> um, when I when the teens get an A, I move them out into the houses with all of their other siblings. Cause we have like 40 something kids that are 39 or something kids that are leaving out of the house. Oh, I guess not, because a few of them died. We have like 30-something kids that live outside of the house, so I, when the teens age up, I, move, I age them up and move them out into their siblings' houses. Um, yeah, I know, Cappy. I know. Am I not so very challenged? My sim has the unhappy infant trait. It's really unfortunate. Ooh. Okay, sorry. I was just finding a little sprinkle from my slime. <laughs> I did a, a stream that was, I swear to you, my stream last night was sponsored by Slime in the last hour of the stream. Absolute best day of my life. And I just found a little, um, it's like a snowflake that fell out of my slime. Really exciting stuff. Okay. The kid loves wake up time. Good stuff. All right, how, is your, how are your needs doing? Pretty much good. Let me see if I can feed you. And I'll get rid of this too. There was a revelation. I want to try slime now. I just, it's its rare that, that you have something so chaotic in like such a good way, you know? I don't know. It was really fun. <laughs> Emma and Ham and Megan, thank you for the subs. You guys saying that a lot of you bought it as like gifts for people for the holidays, I thought was genius. I might actually try and get my sister some slime for Christmas because my sister had a massive slime phase when she was younger. She like basically ruined my parents' wooden dining table because she would make slime so much and not on anything. So she got like glitter in the crevices of the wood. So, um, shout out to Shanna for that. <laughs> really, really appreciated there, I must say. Um, <laughs> classic. 
stained your ceiling with slime? Oh, that's even worse. My friend, my, my best friend when I was a kid, she lived across the street from us. Um, she stained her parents' ceiling with, you know those like little, um, what are they called? It's like a gooey, slimy thing. It's like a hand and there's a string attached to it and you like throw it and it sticks to stuff. She threw it onto the ceiling and it was so high up that nobody could get it. Like, so it was just there at her parents' house for honestly probably a, a year or two. And then it was like a red little silly hand thing. And there was like a, a red tiny, it's like this big, but there was like a tiny little red handprint on the ceiling after that. I don't know if they've painted over it by this point because that was like, 15 years ago or something, but <laughs> um, Yeah, they had they had a little red handprint on the ceiling from one of those sticky hand things <sighs> Your son stained your ceiling with those plastic men with the sticky. Oh, no that see same thing Well, if it makes you feel better, it's not just you <laughs> I never stained my parents ceiling just to be clear Okay, we need to get the next motor thing and then another social one and then we'll be good to go. Did you finish your extra credit project? Good. You could probably go to sleep if you wanted to. I'm getting quite tired. Oh no. You could probably come watch some TV. I think you have to finish this first though. Sorry to all the kids. I'm really making them struggle through this, but I want them to be why are children toys so destructive? Well, yeah, that's the thing. You you would think that they would not give children things with the ability to stain your house, but here we are. <laughs> you ruined your childhood carpet with blow pens? Oh my god, my sister, she ruined my, my childhood carpet in my bedroom at home with a Sharpie. We had like, um, you know, like the standard like brown carpet, you know, just like the beige stuff. She, she drew with a Sharpie giant circle, probably like this big, like giant circles on the carpet in my bedroom with a Sharpie. My parents had like a, a serious no Sharpies in the house rule to try and help prevent this sort of thing from happening because my sister could not be trusted. And, and somehow, probably it was me, I would bring home like markers or like want markers and then my sister would get into them and then draw on things when she was very small, so. Shanna is proving the destructive child of the family. Yeah, not, I mean, yeah. We all had our moments for different reasons. I wasn't like that though. I was too, I was, it, it's the anxiety and, and my um, fears of getting in trouble and, and my desire to do everything right. I would never break a rule and I would never draw on a wall. So I think also part of it, to be honest, is that I was an, I, I'm six years older than her. So when I was a baby and in my chaotic drawing on walls phase, I, I was an only child. And then by the time Shanna was around, my mom was like, she had three kids and she was working full time. Then she went back to school and like, there might, it was just, there was more going on. Maybe that was part of it too. <laughs> there was, it was easier to devote full attention to me, the innocent angel. And then by the time Shanna was being chaotic, there was too much happening. <laughs> It's youngest child stuff, isn't it? <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Um, you go to sleep. Uh-oh. Kid's not doing well. What are you mad about? Smelly? Oh, it's your sibling. Your sibling smells. I get it. That sucks. <laughs> um, what's wrong with the kid? Can you, maybe you can come put the kid to bed. Would that be, that would be really helpful for me if you would do that. Logan, JC, and Nino and Kat, and Emma, thank you for the subs. <sighs> you would throw toys down the stairs to have your mom get it. She would give it to you and then you would throw it back down the stairs repeatedly <laughs> for a while. <laughs> oh, kids are so weird. <laughs> Oh, you finally finished your extra credit. I'm sorry about that, that took you ages. Oh, cause it was like a teen project. I didn't realize what I had clicked on. Sorry. So sorry to you for that. Um, your mom playing fetch. That, I mean, you know, if it tires the kid out, I guess that it works, right? The kind of 
stuff that you gotta do with kids. They are fascinating creatures, aren't they? Your youngest sister ruined your Barbies and your other sister's Barbies? Really? My sister, I never really had Barbies, but my sister would take my toys and my stuff and she would write her name on it and then be like, no, it's mine. But it was mine and she took it and wrote her name on it. And then my mom would be like, she just looks up to you so much. She just looks up to you so much. She stole my stuff. Looks up to me. She's a thief. Ridiculous. You would do that? Really? It's hard being the oldest child. <laughs> that is devastating. Anyway, thanks a lot to my sister. Really nice of her. She's, she's better now. She's grown. So she doesn't really cause me as many problems. What's in the basement? Oh. Um. <laughs> Nothing really. <laughs> Not much is in the basement. <laughs> it's the, uh, you know, just some stuff. Um, I like to store some stuff down there. That's all. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Lolly Tumblr, thank you for the subs. <sighs> Yikes. <laughs> oh no, we have to try and get pregnant tomorrow, don't we? Okay, or, or like get, to, sorry, we have to try and get to know someone so that we can get pregnant tomorrow. I also am very close to being able to age this baby up. I have to get the next social milestone. So I'll try and talk to the kid. Why do you keep doing that? You keep trying to watch TV, it's late at night. Go to bed. Oh, yikes. All right, let's save the game. Let's save the game. This is still gen one, yeah. It is still the first, first gen. So, it's gonna be the next ad. We aren't sure yet. There was talk about the maid. There's also talk about hiring a ranch hand. Um, the thing about that is, I, I'm not opposed to it. It's, it's more just the fact that I've been trying to be kind of careful about having kids with a lot of the original townies before they all die. Um, I'll go to Manage World so I can show you, but, like, we're getting kind of late stage right now where, like, all the OG townies, like, the goth family and stuff, is all died off. Um, and so I want to make sure that we get to them before we start, like, having kids with random people so much, because otherwise we're not going to have a chance to have babies with the other sims, um, because they'll be dead. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. We haven't really gone to, like... See, even like the parents of this family are dead. It's the kids. Willow Creek, they're dead. That's probably just, oh, look at how many goth family members there are. There's like Alexander Goth plus a bunch of their other kids. Yeah, so the original townies are mostly died off now. Um, these are some of my siblings. Um, but yeah, they're all super dead. <laughs> basically is the problem. Um, okay, let's go back home. Yeah, Pigeon, I'm gonna be busy later. My friend Hope is coming into town, so I'm gonna, you guys know Hope, because it's Goose Kingdom in the chat. Um, she's gonna be in, in Orlando this weekend. Um, they're going to Disney, and I'm gonna see them later, so I won't be able to stream later, because um, I've got friends coming all the way from New York City. It's very important, so anyway. <laughs> So sorry. I cannot stream later today. Um, everyone to bed. Everyone to bed. Yeah, they're coming over to my house tonight and they're gonna see the cats, which is a big, 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 big moment. Um, come on. Stop! Go to bed! Why don't they want to sleep in the bed? Can I... She glitched and she wouldn't sleep, so I'm allowed to... Right? I'm allowed to cheat it a little bit, right? <laughs> um, Snowy, I don't think the kittens will be scared. They, uh, have some experience beating people. Um, like, they see my family a lot, obviously. Um, and also, uh, Miv, I don't usually have friends over. This is kind of a wild weekend for me. Um, but Miv came over last night, too, and they saw Miv. I'll tell you a story about this, actually. Um, so they have met Miv and Miv's boyfriend before a handful of times, a couple times. Um, and... They 
are not necessarily scared of people. They're a little wary around them, which makes sense. I would be too. It's a stranger. Like, I get it. Um, but so Snap, Snap loves them, like was sitting on their lap. Okay, so we're not worried about her. She's fine. Snap is an attention seeker. The kittens though, the babies, it was a little bit different than what I was expecting because I thought that Shrimp was gonna be confident and Sunny was gonna hide. In fact, it was the opposite. Sunny was showing off all of her climbing skills um, by scaling up and down her cat tree. And then she climbed the Christmas tree, which was a first. She hasn't done that yet and was kind of that was kind of alarming. Um, thankfully, she's too small, so it won't fall or anything. Um, but she did climb the Christmas tree, so that was pretty bad. Um, I, honestly, I believe that she was showing off. I, I really believe in my heart. She has never, never acted this way. She was showing off her climbing skills to, to uh, Miv and to Miv's boyfriend. Okay, thank you, Sunny, for that. Shrimp got really scared when the front door opened. Because I don't usually use the front door. I mostly go through the garage when I come in out of the house because I like get into my car and stuff. Um, so the front door doesn't open very often. Um, and it kind of like is stuck. <laughs> like the it, the wood is like swollen or something. So it's really hard to open and close the door and it requires some slamming and some like pulling really hard to open it. It's quite chaotic. I've, I can't show you guys the video because I don't want you to see my front door, but I've shown my mods this video of me like, I'm like trying so hard to open it. It's unlocked and I can't get it open. So anyway, the door is quite kind of loud. So it really scared Shrimp when the door opened when they got here. Um, <laughs> and so he ran upstairs. But the problem is he separated himself from his sister in his running upstairs. And he gets really upset when he can't find his sister. So then he was really scared and hiding in the curtain upstairs. And then he started crying, like yelling, because he was trying to find Sunny. Um, and she was too busy showing off, so she wouldn't go get him. So I had to go get Shrimp and bring him downstairs because he got so scared because he couldn't find his sister. It, so anyway, um, <laughs> that was the situation last night. But then it, once he came downstairs, he was fine. It, I don't think he was necessarily scared of Miv and Will. I think he was scared of the door and then scared that Sunny wasn't with him. So, um... <laughs> Big, big, big drama <laughs> with Shrimp. I like the Stardew Valley board game. Um, I've played it quite a few times. Um, I have always really enjoyed that game. I think it's really fun. Don't take a bubble bath. Calm down. Uh, it, it takes a... The problem with the Stardew Valley board game is that it takes a significant amount of setup. Um, there's like a lot of little pieces. Maybe I can show you a picture of it. Let me see if I can find... Um, but it, there's a lot of, there's, it's kind of involved um, and it's kind of like slow to play. Um, I don't really know, oh, here we go. But like basically here's a picture of someone else's game. Um, I really enjoy it, but you have to like, you have to like board games and probably like Stardew Valley to like it. Um, but it's kind of like this and there's like season cards um, for the days and then like on this day that means the crow is going to get your crops and you're allowed to sell things. There's like mining and you roll the dice to mine. There's a museum and you have to get like artifacts and they're in a little bag and there's fish and they're like so there's just like a ton of fish pieces a ton of these are all crop pieces and collectible pieces. These things are the forageables um, and they have different ones for each season so there's just a lot of like things. There's a lot of cards. These are like the community center cards. There's like a stack of them for each bundle in the community center. Um, there's like all these villager cards, there's Jojo tiles, like there's just a lot of pieces um, and it can be kind of overwhelming to set up at first, um, but it's fun. It's just, it can be a lot. <laughs> it can be a lot if you're not with it. It's it's cooperative, yeah. You So you can also play single player, which is kind of cool. You can play it alone and if you play with people, you're like all working together to finish the stuff. Um, so I didn't have to make Dan play Mama Sim, Dan wanted to play. Um, Dan likes games like that, so. Uh, me and Dan have played the game a lot. We also have, have played with my sister a lot. I forget what day it was. It, maybe it was like New Year's Day last year or something. Me, Dan, and my sister played the, the board game twice in one day. We were like kind of thriving. I will say we were also kind of cheating. Stardew Valley, the board game is quite fun, but, but I think at times it's more fun when you like bend the rules a little bit because <laughs> it can take a long time and so sometimes you might just want to like you know there's like stuff where you have to like take a turn like all these like different turns and plans and you're only allowed to like uh go to the next level of the mines at the end of your turn to me sometimes it's like 
just do it anytime during the turn, you know? Just do it now. <laughs> just do it today, it's fine. If you wanna just trade real quick in the middle of the turn, that's fine. Like, even if you're not supposed to do that, let's just do it anyway, because it makes it a little bit more fun. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of my, um, my thought process on it. That's sort of my mentality about everything though. Like if, if the game is more fun, if you bend the rules, by all means bend the rules. It's supposed to be fun, so. Something with the Sims, you know? Rules are a suggestion. They don't cheat a lot. It's just a couple, couple little adjustments to make it more fun, <laughs> so. You bought it, you changed the rules, see? Exactly. But yeah, I like, I like the board game. I think it's fun, but there, I think there's a very certain type of person that would enjoy the board game. And I think you have to like both board games and Stardew Valley for it. Um, so, all right, take care of the baby. Are you gonna feed it or not? Also, you need to eat. Take a piece. You can come take a piece. Maybe you can come take a shower. All right. Is there a Peppa Pig board game? Don't even talk about that. <laughs> You know what? That's true, Mama Sam. It would be fun if the power went out because it's kind of a long game. Um, that would be fun if the power went out. My family has a long history of board games by by flashlight um, in in various hurricanes over my lifetime. <laughs> it's like candlelight and flashlight over the years when um, when the power goes out during hurricanes, <laughs> like playing Monopoly in the dark. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> really exciting stuff. Okay, would you like to... Should I even bother with having you start another school project? I think you should be able to get an A in school today. What else could you do? Maybe you could just try and... Um, well, to be honest, maybe you could come talk to the baby. I don't know. Let's see if we can get its social thingy up. Oh, it got it on its own. I can age the baby up! Never mind. I don't even need to talk to it. Look, it just got it. Okay. Here we go. Help blow out candles. Booger. Who works in this household? Oh, my Sim. This Sim, she's a painter. Um, we don't have to paint all that often, but now that she's maxed the skill, she makes quite good money from it, so. Yay, baby aged up. Fussy. Oh my god, it was intense as an infant. That is so inconvenient. Also, you see how many gifts I just got in the mail from siblings? <sighs> to be completely honest with you, that covers a lot of the cost of our bills. Um, so we don't have to worry about it that much. <laughs> okay, um, to age up infants, I usually try to play with needing to get, um, I need to get two milestones in each category. The last one I needed just then, I should have shown you, but the last one I needed just then was the, um, what's it called? The second social milestone. Okay. Dinner is served. Here you go, kid. Come grab a serving. You need to work on your communication skills so I can age you up. I don't want to take care of your needs if I don't have to. <laughs> No, she's not. My Sim is not an adult yet, but she will be. If we can prolong it as, as much as we can, that'll be for the best. Um, but, send alone. Um, but yeah, we're, we are about to become an adult. They don't age when they're pregnant, so. Um, can I reintroduce the family for you? Lana, let me tell you this. I don't know who these Sims are either. So you don't need to worry about the kids. There's no, you don't need to think about that. This Sim, Rosa, she is the, the, um, the mom. She's had 45 kids. Um, here's her traits. Lots and lots of bonus traits, but I don't know the kids' names either, so. <laughs> this is the family tree. People ask me this all the time, but that's what it looks like. So. Um, but yeah, don't worry about the kids. There is a spreadsheet with all the babies' names on it from all of the past babies, if you want to see them. Um, and they have sort of ridiculous names, very chaotic names, because we named them uh, based on uh, the suggestions that were donated during my charity fundraiser. So, should I try and have a kid with Jess before she dies? I guess maybe. I might try and get to know her before 
How long until you die? 14! Oh, that's plenty of time. Okay. Share big news. Post about family. Okay. Oh, we've been playing this save since May. We started during my big charity fundraiser back in May. Okay. Compliment outfit. I don't know. How are you kids doing? Oh, are you a messy eater too? I guess that's fine because it makes us money. Somebody asked a second ago who works in this family. Apparently the toddler because the toddler throws trash on the ground and then I sell the trash and then we make money. <laughs> And that's kind of how it goes. But yeah, during my charity fundraiser back in May, every single one of those names on that suggestion list, those people donated $25 to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to have their name on the list, and I've been randomizing them um, and selecting them randomly from there, which is kind of cool, to be honest. Are you ready to age up yet? No, you're so close. Hug the bear one more time. Come on. Oh, shoot. Study hard. Study hard. Pretty hard. Oops. All right, the kid's ready to age up now. I was kind of talking to Jess, but this might be more important. Come here. Help blow out candles to this baby. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the messy eater trait is trait is kind of annoying. I agree, <laughs> but. Oh well. Okay, let's age with the baby and then I'll keep talking to Jess, I guess. She should still be here. It shouldn't take too long. Making money from selling used plates is kind of funny. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous, isn't it? What are you doing? I'll reset you. Maybe we can try this now again. Candles help, Rosa. There we go. Yeah, there are a handful of kids that have died already, Mon. Um, most of them died when they aged up though, like on the day of their birthday because they were having a mood swing when they aged up from a teen into a young adult and then they died, um, which is okay. They had already aged up, so it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, there was like five or something. One of them got struck by lightning twice. So that was pretty rough and I wasn't even involved. That happened on its own. <laughs> All right, let's talk to this sim next. What I'm doing right now is because we're gonna give birth any second. So what I'm trying to do right now is just in advance, get ready to get pregnant again. So that way when it's time, like when we, when we have the baby, um, we'll be ready. And it won't be hard for us to get the romance bar up and stuff. We'll just get ready so we can call her up and woohoo straight away. All right, as soon as you're showered, you have to come do a school project. And you are still sliding. Okay. Agnes Crumplebottom, leave me alone. I'm not getting married for money. I don't want that. First kiss. Does the cake have candles? I thought it did. Didn't I just put the candles on there? Yeah, it does. We're good. All saved. She puts all the food away. She means well, but she puts all the food away, the maid, when she comes here. Okay, I did just kiss Jess, so we'll be able to get pregnant with Jess next time once the baby is born. So that'll be good. That's a pro tip, by the way, with the baby challenge, uh, is to just keep your cake and keep putting candles on it and leaving it with candles in the fridge, because then the Sims will um, be able to keep using the same cake over and over again. So that's kind of helpful. All right, did you get your level three? Yes, let's talk to this bear. All right. Um, the mom is on the gallery, probably a little ways back though, cause I made her like back in May. So I guess that's just something to consider is that you might have to scroll a little bit if you're looking for her. So I love this challenge when you do it myself, never. Yeah, see, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I love this challenge when other people do it, but me? Not that interested in it. <laughs> okay, this kid got an A in school, so we can get rid of the teen. It is time for you to age up. 
the teens age up pretty quickly because they they um, come up with pretty good school performance from their childhood. So, and this is really not good because this means that we're gonna potentially have to wait the whole weekend to age up the other kids because they don't have A's in school yet. You're close and you're only a C student. So, okay, would you like to add some birthday candles back to this please? And then I'll get rid of you. Thank you, it was nice knowing you. Yeah, there is something satisfying about watching someone else suffer through this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Chelsea, Princess, Erin, Sammy, Illuminati, and Bree, and Lurful and Sweet. Thank you for the subs, by the way, everybody. I really appreciate that. Um, okay. We'll get rid of this kid. One of the other, um, one of the other pro tips, honestly, and this might seem like it doesn't make any sense, but genuinely, not having twins, so like not using the on lay line trait and stuff, um, you would really think that it would make the most sense to like use that trait and try and have triplets and stuff. But actually when you have triplets, it goes a lot worse because you have to, um, like it's, it takes so much longer to raise them when there's more of them. So it's like kind of bad in that way. Um, and then you also have the problem of like, when you have just one kid at a time, you can stay pregnant pretty much constantly, which means your sim doesn't age. Um, so that, you like stay alive longer and you have like the same with all the skills longer so but you would think oh i want to have twins and triplets but with infants specifically i don't think it was as bad when we had the children only and like the babies of children and toddlers and stuff when i started this the first time we didn't even have toddlers so it wasn't as big of a deal when you had twins and triplets but but now makes way more sense to not have any twins or triplets and to to do it with just single babies. I've had a few sets of triplets um, as we've been playing this because I was kind of like doing it on purpose for chaos during my charity streams and stuff, but um, yeah. Okay. Well, we have a lot of space in the household, so that's pretty good. Make a donation to charity. I can do that. My sim has some money. <laughs> I can do that. The kid is scared of a thunderstorm. You got level three. That's good. Now it's easy. We just gotta get this. Play inside, play inside. Come on. Come on. When you play a normal gameplay, you won't have another kid until the kids can feed and wash themselves. Yeah, I get that. I, I really understand that. <laughs> It's hard having so many kids. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry for putting the kid out there during the thunderstorm. That's pretty bad, isn't it? I'm sorry. Here, take a shower. Oh, look, she's gonna get her grade up tomorrow. Well, you don't have to do any more skill building then. Your sibling does. We need the school performance from it. You can have eight sims in the household, yeah, Luna. I don't really, um, I guess you could cheat if you wanted to in this, but I don't really find that it's it's worthwhile to do that here. So I wouldn't, but um, you can get some mods. Yeah, Aniki, I have a spreadsheet that has all the babies' names and information um, if you're looking for it. This has like all the, the other parents and stuff too. Um, oh, you know what you should do is feed the rat. Yeah. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> that would be helpful. <laughs> Let's make sure that's happening. Oh, you mean did I use MCC to increase the household size? Um, well, I have the house size increased, yes, because I keep it up at 24 permanently for various challenges I do sometimes. I will not allow myself to have more than eight sims in this household though. Um, I'm not really interested in that. What are you doing? You're running away from the thunderstorm by running all the way around the house? No, Giraffe, I'm live now because I can't be live later. So what's happening is I'm doing this instead of canceling my stream. Does that make sense? Because my friend is coming over. My friend Hope, who lives in New York City, um, you know Hope if you've been in my streams a lot. Her name is Goose Kingdom on Twitch. Um, she is coming, coming over. She's gonna be in town this weekend, so. 
Um, I cannot stream later, which is why I'm live now. Otherwise, I have to cancel. All right, what are you doing? You, you do realize that there is a bathroom right next to you in this school project room, right? You ever thought about that? What are you doing? She keeps getting scared of the storm and running away. Stop, use the bathroom. Oh my God, can I just, you know what? She used the bathroom, she did. Oh, now she did, okay, well. I'm quite stressed out, to be honest. Oh, this kid's like really tired. I wanna get you aged up as quick as possible, but I guess maybe you can just go to sleep. Like, of course now, she uses it as soon as I stopped, huh? Because of course she did. Of course she did. Uh-oh. Um, let me sell all this stuff. Got all my presents from the various family members. Thank you very much. Um, kid is miserable. That's no good. No, we haven't had any kids taken away, no. Um, definitely not. We had some die, but no one's been taken away. As if that's better. Oh, they just died, so it's fine. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Sounds pretty bad when you say it like that. <laughs> okay. Um, would you like- oh, you're feeling sick. Uh-oh. They can die? Yeah, um, they died when they were old. Or, or from, like, when they were aging up into young adults, um, from mood swings. But they can die as children, yeah. There's quite a few uh, ways that Sims kids can die. They can die in fires, they can drown, they can die from extreme weather um, at times. Uh, like, they can freeze and stuff, you know? Um, all right. Would you like to, I guess you can come use the bathroom and then take a shower. And then I can get you some food too. Get leftovers. Are you getting put to bed? Oh, good. Perfect. Okay, you, my friend, are probably gonna go into labor overnight, so it might be good for us to go to sleep now. Uh-oh, sorry about all your needs. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I was not helping you, was I? That's my bad. I wanted to see if I could get her grade up, but I guess it doesn't matter, because she's gonna be... They're gonna be here over the weekend anyway. The weekends are quite hard in the baby challenge, because you can't get any kids moved out over the weekend, so they're kind of just stuck with you. So that's sort of no fun. What are you doing napping? I'm gonna cheat that, because she napped instead of sleeping. <laughs> okay. Hot tub? No, don't use the hot tub. Go to bed. Go to bed. To bed. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Sims cannot be trusted. Save the game. Okay. <laughs> Margaret, Clara, Princess, Elegant, thank you for the subs. Is Twitch lagging a lot today? Uh-oh, someone else said major lag. I'm not dropping any frames, so I don't think it's on my end. That's really weird. Um, Laura, you know, I haven't really thought about rebuilding the house. You're the second person to mention that today. I really like the house, and we've been, like, slowly expanding it, um, as opposed to, like, rebuilding and renovating completely. I don't know, maybe I will soon-ish, because it sounds like a lot of people want us to, but, um, yeah, I hadn't really considered it. Maybe I could. Maybe if I rebuilt the house, I would feel inspired to want to play with the challenge more. <laughs> Because I have to get up a lot of courage to play with this challenge. <laughs> Twitch being Twitch. Yeah, I'm sorry that it's lagging like that. That's really annoying that it would do that. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Hi, Biv. How are you? I hope you are doing well. Can you do more early streams on weekends? Well, personally, that's the thing. It depends. Um, 
it depends because <laughs> most times I have to record on Saturdays. I, I pretty much record every day. I'm not going to record today. And that's why I can stream right now. Um, so uh, unfortunately, most times um, I can't stream in the morning on the weekends because I have to do YouTube stuff. Um, but it kind of just depends what's going on. It's a girl. OK, so here's how it works, chat. This is the fun part. We randomly generate the name of the baby based on the spreadsheet. So here is the spreadsheet. Here is the long list of baby names. I also have to add another row below this um, so we can get ready for the the next baby after this one. But um, anyway, baby number 46, we have a long list of name suggestions. These were again, all donated by people who spent $25 to donate to our charity fundraiser back in May. Um, there's 1,669 names on here and we are going to randomly generate the name of this baby. 1,668, <laughs> okay. The baby is going to be named Richard. I like that. That's pretty good. All right, Richard. <laughs> oh, let me put that on the thingy here. Who was gonna be, who did I say was gonna be the, the next? Wasn't it like Jess Sigworth? I probably can't invite her over because of the, oh, I can, okay, good. Um, Jess, do you want to try for a baby in this hot tub? Really quick, that would be super helpful, thank you. Quick, uh-oh, is she glitched? Uh-oh. Okay, hold on, let me try this again. Okay, so again, personally, I have to keep explaining this, I'm sorry chat, you've heard me say it a million times, but I'm, I'm trying to have babies with all of the townies before they die. Because all of the townies are about to die and, and go away forever. As you can see, they're all very old. So I'm trying to get to as many townies before um, before they all die off. And then we can start having kids with like random people like the maid and maybe I'll place like Stanley Humphrey and things like that. So. All right. That's your dad's name. Oh, good. Our baby challenge sim is named after your dad. <laughs> okay, we have to get pregnant fast. That's why I'm doing this. I'm trying to be quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, hold on. Jess Sigworth. And then I have to take a picture with her and then I have to kill her. Yay. <laughs> Celeste and Castle and Margaret, thank you for the subs. Why are they so old? Because I've been playing in the safe for a long time, Panda. It's just been a while. Okay, we did get pregnant, that's good. Take a photo with Jess. I'll hang it up on the wall. And then I shall kill her. Okay, would you wanna come over here with me, please? Nope, it's lagging. Go here together. Okay, um, oh, none of my sims took care of their needs. That's not my fault that I was busy and they weren't paying attention to their needs. Okay, um, MC command center, sim commands, maintain sim, kill sim. Eh, let's freeze. I just talked about that, so right in the middle of summer. Yeah, Jess is a townie from Strangerville. Anyway, um, so this will be baby number 47. Oops, name. Okay. I'll have to move that down once I can get into build mode again. Oh, no, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. You don't care about her dying. You don't even know her. Shh. It's okay. You're used to it. No one cares. No one's traumatized. We're used to it. Okay, what's wrong with you? You need your imagination skill up, but you also need food. I can get you some. Why did you need to kill her? Oh, because it's fun. I'm collecting graves in my basement. <laughs> I thought showing you the basement would make it obvious. <laughs> I'm collecting them. 
It's just fun. All right. The baby was just born in all of the chaos. That was baby number 46, the newborn in the household. So I'm going to change the stream title to say 46 also. All right. The death adds an interesting element, chat says. See? There you go. It's just for fun. Oh, I'm lost. There it is. There we go. Okay. There's two graves for Eloise because I had to kill her twice because she... Um, she glitched out. Sometimes when they're elders, they die from overexertion while you're woohooing them, and I didn't get a chance to get pregnant, so I had to, like, bring her back to life. Um, it was a whole thing. All right, kids, study hard. What are you upset about? Witnessing death? No, 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 you don't care about that. Shh, no. I don't think you mind. Are you going to go to school or not? There we go. All right, I guess next step needs to be to get this baby aged up. I usually like to, um, I'll age up the baby, the newborns instantly into infants. Now that we have the infant update, um, it's kind of how I've been going with it, so. All right, bye Jess. That was so fun. <laughs> okay, baby care, age up. Here we go. And you, kid, when you're done, I wanted you to come play inside so I can get you aged up soon, too. Because you're really close to getting level 3 of the imagination skill. Oh, here comes the infant. Intense again. Intense again. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think what I'll do is I'll, oh, no, 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 don't do that. I wanna put Richard over here. And then we will, come on, put the kid down. And then we can eat. That's the next goal. You save for the newborn days till it's time for infants. Yeah, normally, like when I'm playing normally, I would do the same thing. But because right now I'm, The kid doesn't want to be put down. Because I'm playing the baby challenge, we want to, like, we're trying to get rid of these kids as fast as possible, you know? So it kind of changes the way we play this game. <laughs> Let's get some leftovers. How about that? All right. And then this kid can be aged up as soon as she's done eating. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, I got to put the new handprint up in the basement, too. I forgot that was, I have that now, too. There we go. For all the babies. Good stuff. <laughs> Useless Catherine, sweet fairy Jen. Thank you for the subs. Oh my. Are you done? Reach milestone unlocked. Good job, kid. We can get you your next milestones to work on. Here. Um. Play with toys, 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 play with toys. I'm trying to like speed run this, you know? Okay. It really is amazing though, talking about like this challenge in in the context now with infants out and how much different it used to be when we only had the toddler stuff. Cause I used to think that toddlers were so bad and I would complain like, oh, I cause I started the challenge before toddlers came out when I did it on YouTube. I would complain about it so much, like, oh, we have toddlers now, um, and it's so hard to have toddlers in the challenge, and it's, it's just really funny, because now the toddlers, once they get to be toddlers, I'm like, oh, it's so easy, you can take care of yourself. <laughs> like, my outlook on it has changed so much. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, I guess you're fine, then. Do you want to, maybe you could get the mail or something. Okay, get mail. Oh, you could probably do some, oh, I have another, oh. I've got multiple of these bushes, apparently. Yeah, look at how much money we get from these. This is how we're gonna pay for a new house when we renovate it. Okay. Would you like to harvest all of this stuff? 
To age up the infants, the rules I've been doing are to get two milestones in every category. Um, so like the kid just now finished getting the grab milestones, so I don't need to do this stuff anymore. I'm gonna come help you with this. Um, I'll show you once I finish queuing these, I'm sorry. I just need to do it before I forget. But basically, I want to get two milestones in every category, so I have the two here, we're good. We gotta get first, we gotta get gross motor. I usually skip the life one because it doesn't really matter to me, like there's no challenge in this. It's like they were born so they got one. But it's two in all the other categories, um, then I can age them up. It's kind of how I've been doing it. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> Frog and Useless and Catherine, thank you for the subs. Um... Okay. Okay. I guess I'll let you sleep a bit. The problem is, I really want you to work on skills. So that's kind of annoying that you have to sleep, but it's okay. Oh, and the kid's miserable. Well, we'll try and get as many as we can. You cheat need so you do three per milestone. Hey, you know what? I like that. <laughs> I respect that. And I, I, I think that's a good idea. So, we're on 46 and my sim is pregnant with baby number 47 right now. I think my goal is to get to baby number 50 born today. We'll see how we go. Maybe if I just keep playing on triple speed. You know? We could also allow ourselves a couple, uh... Extra things, you know? How are the kids doing? Grades are up! Grades are up! Okay, good. So you can become a teen. That's gonna help us. Um, blow out candles. See, if we're gonna have teens all weekend, because I can't age her up until Monday. If we're gonna have teens all weekend, this is the kind of time where I might put the on lay line trait on, so that we can maybe have, um, so that we can maybe have, uh, twins. Because I don't normally like to have twins, but if we have an extra sim in the household who's gonna be kind of stuck here for a while, it feels more- it feels more worth it to me, almost, to do that. We can kind of, like, strategically use the onlay line, but I guess she only just got pregnant today, so... It might not be worth it. The timing isn't so good. Alright, would you like to maybe do something to get your fun up? Like, I guess you could just watch the TV. The weekends are so boring. We kind of, I kind of just try to like get through them as fast as possible. Okay. Okay, looks like the kid needs to go to bed. That sucks. Let's put Richard to sleep. Shall we? And then maybe you could play a lullaby in there for it, too. Put the kid down! What are you doing? Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. Leave me alone. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Get rid of that. Want night night. Okay, go to bed then. I don't know what to tell you. You're in the crib. That's your fault. <laughs> Fizz, thank you for the resub too, by the way. Okay. You are unbelievably annoying. Really? Try to go night night. Oh my god. Uh oh, it worked. Never mind. Don't talk. Don't talk to it. Poor kid. I hate infants. See, this is the kind of time where it's like, maybe just add some help. You know, just a little bit. <laughs> maybe just a little bit. Otherwise, we're never gonna get through this. <laughs> Okay, I'll keep it on triple speed. Triple speed is kind of the way to go here, I, I fear. I don't know if that belongs to one of your siblings or not. Oh, this one belongs to you. Okay, work carefully on that. Sorry I destroyed that. I don't know what got into me just then. 
Okay, kids, let's all come do some projects together. How about that? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Aw, see, that's nice. Um, get rid of that. We take a shower, we'll get rid of that. How are you doing, kid? Hopefully I can work on its needs a little bit more tonight. Ew, clean that. Or its skills, I mean. Why are you still here? I have a club gathering going that I didn't realize I had. <laughs> Snuggly sleeper is a really annoying quirk that can happen to the infants where they prefer to sleep while being held. So. Really inconvenient um, when you're trying to play a challenge like this and I don't want to take care of the baby. You know? Maybe I'll get a romance bonus. Because I have a lot of club points. We could probably get some like flirty mood bonuses too. Because we're using this club to meet people to date. So we might as well spend some points on that. What are you doing? Really? Okay, use that I guess, that's fine. Uh oh, the kid's awake. Oh my god, don't use that. Take care of the kid. Take care of the kid, take care of the kid! <laughs> Ooh. It sounds cute, but yeah, in, in game it's horrible. At least it likes waking up. Oh, B finish, extra credit, that's good. We'll have you just go to bed, I guess. Everyone can probably go to bed for now. And we'll take care of other needs tomorrow. Take care of it before it starts yelling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Try and get ahead of it before it starts yelling. <laughs> Mr. Thanks for 25 months. Okay. Um, let's get put down over here by your mom so that we can start working on- Oh, it pooped. Okay, don't get put down. Let's get a bubble bath. Cause that'll get you some milestones also. Bubble bath, bubble bath, bubble bath. You had a snuggly sleeper and hates being held infant at the same time. Oh, that's so annoying. Having more than one infant is bad enough. It's worse when they both have horrible, horrible things. I, I think the worst one is when they're like fussy eaters. To me, that is so unbearable. I don't- I won't bother with its diaper yet. It's so annoying when they're fussy eaters because it's so hard to feed them, and I don't have time to like try hard to feed them in this save where I'm trying to get rid of the kids, so it sucks when that happens. What's mad about you? Oh, I'm mad about getting put down. Okay, tummy time, tummy time. Tummy time, okay. Here we go. Yeah, they'll be hungry, they won't eat. It's so annoying, it's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, I really dislike that one. Okay, sorry about this, kid. How are, what are your milestones looking like? Oh, lift head milestone unlocked, okay. Step one. <laughs> no, Drew, it's two different, it, they're talking about two different sims. They had like two babies, they were saying. With two very bad things. I think that those two conflict, so you wouldn't have a baby with both at the same time. Okay. This is fine. Stop. Is she still sick? I never gave her medicine. Maybe she's fine, I don't know. Oh, you aren't sad about the sim dying. Sorry. You often cheat for better quirks? Maybe I should do that. Hmm. Think my time to start, to start having twins again? No, so Emma, we've been talking about this. Twins, you might think would be good. Like, like you, you would assume that having twins would be a good thing because you would get more babies. But in reality, it's not good because it means my sim is pregnant less often um, and it takes longer to age the kids up because you can dedicate less time to them. Um, so I actually kind of prefer to not have twins. It's like preferable to me if the game just runs so much smoother when you don't have them. Oh, first blowout milestone. Okay, that's really horrible. Give Richard a bubble bath. Come on. Come on. 
No, Midas, I'm not usually here in the morning on Saturdays. I am here today because I can't stream later. So it's like, I'm doing this now, otherwise I would have canceled stream today. So I'm, okay, it doesn't want to have a bath because it's asleep, that's fine. But yeah, instead of canceling stream, I streamed early, basically. Um, that's what's going on. Okay, you're miserable. Then you can shower, then you can get some food too. You're gonna need to use the bathroom. You're gonna need to get some food. Okay. You're gonna need to shower. You're gonna need to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh my. Okay, I just wanna get through the weekend. The weekend bores me because the kids are all home, so. The faster we can get through this, the better. You, my friend, you were working on one of these, but I forget which one was yours. Maybe you had the one that finished. I don't remember. Well, get to work. Get to work. Get to work. You as well. Come on, everybody, this is gonna be fun. We'll triple speed through this. Oh, you are bathing the infant now. Is that just a regular bath instead of a bubble bath? Ugh. You need to give it a bubble bath so it gets two milestones. Oh, I guess we don't need it because we have them both. Okay, never mind. Now I need to get it the, the coup milestone. So I'm gonna try and talk to it. Talk to Richard. Talk to Richard. Talk to Richard. Okay. Sell the diaper. The pink couch. Oh, this one I think is from Nifty Knitting. Let me just triple check. Yeah, it's Nifty Knitting. Okay. Come on, do you wanna be my friend, infant, please? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? Friendly, talk to Richard. Friendly, talk to Richard. I don't know, you keep it up. What about you? You're f you guys finished yours, that's pretty good. Boop, boop. Okay, let's replace them with some more projects. These project rooms are so useful. <laughs> it's pretty bad, you have to have so many. Um, all right, you wanna do another one? You wanna do another one? Yep, keep it up. Okay, the kid's gonna have to go to sleep but it doesn't have the milestone I want yet. Ugh. Well, now I'm feeding it. So that's also unpleasant. <laughs> Booker finishes school. Happy spitter! Oh dear. Okay. Let's go to bed again, I guess. Get carried here by Rosa. Mental level 10, and we can't even age up. See, isn't that horrible? I feel like when you max the skill, you should be allowed to age up. <laughs> if you don't get, even if you don't have an A in school, you should be allowed to age up. It's fine. It's not gonna get the milestone, whatever, just go. It could be a rule that we play with. <laughs> I, I mean, to me, honestly, I think that kinda doesn't even, uh, that kinda makes sense, right? Maxing a skill? That feels right. We should be allowed to age kids up that have max skills. If they max a child skill, are we on the same page? I think that's a good rule. Okay. Happy birthday to this kid! <laughs> Especially like a mental skill. That makes sense to me. Wouldn't that make it harder for the teen to get an A? Oh. Yeah, potentially. <laughs> well, it's too late now. The kid's a teen now. So. 
Oh well. <laughs> We're experimenting with this a little bit, okay? That's all. Were any of these yours or did you finish yours? Oh well. We'll see. The teens help out around the house more, so it might be worth it. We don't have to always do it. We can do it just once and then see how it goes. And then if it's bad, we won't do it again. So, yeah, but it's more useful to have teens around the house, because we kind of need the help. When are you... Second trimester in 16 minutes. We're not even close to having the baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Could it be Huck likes pranks? Yeah! Do you want to hang out tonight? No! <laughs> Silly and Haunted, thank you for the subs! Alright. Could I make a bunch of apartments for all the babies to move into? You know what? That would be kind of fun once the pack comes out. Because we could, we could live, like, we could have, like, basically all of the households of our extra sims, like all the kids when they age up, we could have them all live on one lot if, if we make an apartment building for them. That's so smart. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll definitely do that. We'll make a big apartment for all the old kids to live in. Because <laughs> you can have up to six units on the one lot. And they also said, um, Simguru Ninja tweeted something about how he's like six unless you're using cheats, so we don't know what that means, or like what the actual max will be if you're using cheats. Um, but that excites me, because we can maybe have even more than six. So, we've got options. <laughs> hey Cheshire, it's good to see you! Yeah, we're, we're live a little early right now, which is kind of fun, so hopefully some more folks that are usually um, busy and or maybe it's too late for you when I'm live normally can be here today because I know in Europe it's pretty late when I'm streaming most of the time so okay you get some food I'll just keep triple speed oh no go back to sleep kid you still don't have the milestone you need can you like maybe your sibling can come in here and talk to you that should help. Oh, it just fell asleep again. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, get leftovers. Okay. No, milestones are from the pack. They're from growing together. Um, there's different rules for the babies if you if you don't have get to get together, growing together. There's different rules for it if you don't have growing together, and it involves having them try different foods. If you're looking for the baby challenge rules, just Google them. Um, it's easier than trying to explain it out loud, but um, for like rules that I'm not following, I mean. Um, but anyway. Oh my god, do you know what? You make a really interesting point that I hadn't considered. I was just gonna build the apartment and then have all of the other kids live in it. But you said we could, we could like be the landlord. And that is smart, because then we could charge our own sim- like, our own family member's rent. <laughs> that actually might- oh, toothpaste is getting old, uh-oh. That might actually be the way. I think you're probably onto something there. Okay. Okay. I could do that. I could do that. Smelly finished a school project. Well, sorry, Smelly, but you're gonna have to do another one. Because you're a high school C student, so you're gonna take a lot longer to age up than your sibling. Skip prom. I have to, like, check on them, though? Yeah, but it might be kind of fun to do that. It might be, like, an interesting side quest to have. Right? And if it's bad, we can just get rid of it. Like, it's- it might still be fun to try, though. I like the concept. Yeah, imagine there's like a tenant revolt, but it's our children. Like... Whoa. <laughs> Take a shower. I wonder how hard it's gonna be to run those buildings. I'm curious to see what it'll be like. Alright, can you wake your sibling up and come talk to it? Oh, 
Oh, see, it got it on its own. That's so annoying. All right, finally, we can age the kid up. All right. Um, I need to help blow out candles for the baby. So that's good. If we try hard enough, we might be able to get the baby ready to age up um, and become a child for school on Monday fast enough. We have a lot of work to do. Independent, that's a good one. Uh, finally, something goes right for us. <laughs> Wiggly, thank you for the 32 month reset, by the way. And Jess Hire, thank you for the bits. Should you decorate an EA Sims house for Christmas? Oh, that sounds like fun, actually. Yeah, go for it. Um, would that go against the norm not being able to have a job that's not at home? Oh, I don't, I think that rule is stupid. Um, it, the thing about that rule, right, is that it's, it's like not logical for you to play this challenge and have a job, like a regular job because then you have to be gone during the day and you can't take care of the kids. So it's stupid to do that because you're gone during the day and you don't want that. But I think it's kind of ridiculous to, to be like, oh, you can't play as a landlord because it's not at home. Like wh whatever, you own the lot, so. <laughs> um, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Um, and anyway, we're talking about bending the rules all the time anyway, so we might as well do whatever we want just because the whole point of this challenge is for it to be fun, so. I'm not gonna like not do something because of a silly random rule, you know? Well, yeah, Jupiter, I've played this challenge before and I had the mom uh, get jobs occasionally just for like something to do in the meantime and then quick, quick. You know, when you get those phone calls where it's like, do you wanna join level five of this career? I would say yes and then quit immediately because you get paid when you do that. So. I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> I think that's fine. Um, why is there a staircase that she never goes down there? Um, because I might need it sometimes. It's important. So. I might need it. We have an upstairs that I don't really use either. The house is just really big, so. All right, you are going to give birth third trimester in seven hours, okay. Oh, you know what you could do is take care of these, weed them, and then you can go to sleep, okay. Midas, I think it's fine to play a career with a work from home option. This is the thing, right? I am not a stickler for the rules of Sims challenges. If you have an idea and you wanna do like the work from home career cause you think it's gonna be fun, by all means do it. Why do you care that some random person wrote a rule 10 years ago about the challenge? You know, like it's just, you play how you wanna play. It's, the rules are kind of a guideline. You can adjust stuff, you know? Um, if you wanna do a, if you wanna do a work from home career, if you wanna get a real career, by all means do it. It might not be a good idea, <laughs> but you could, you know? Uh, the challenge is more of a guide. I, I always think that the games are more fun to play that way. So, it's your game. Do whatever. Okay. Can you get in bed? Oh my god, she's glitched, so I'm gonna sneak it and cheat it a little bit. She won't get in the bed. There we go. It's not my fault, she just stood there. No, we haven't picked the next parent yet. I'm gonna wait and do it tomorrow. <sighs> Once she wakes up. I might actually even leave the house to find someone to date. So. I think it'll be fun. All right. 4 a.m., let's get up. Grab a serving. No, we're not playing on a short lifespan. We usually try to age them up early. Like you're trying to get them aged up as fast as possible, but it's on normal lifespan. And we're like aging the kids up as soon as we're allowed. That's kind of how it's going. So. All right, 5 a.m. Let's go find someone that we want to have be the next parent. I might go out just to like the park or something. Um, and then we can just meet someone and introduce ourselves and then have them be the 
the person. Oh, really, Starlight? Well, hello. <laughs> We're playing the 100 baby challenge today. It's a little bit different than building. In fact, it's the worst thing that anyone could ever do in The Sims. So, <laughs> welcome in. Okay, hello. Nobody's at the park. <laughs> really cool. I guess it is 4 a.m. Maybe I'll fish just for some fun while I wait. Oh, here we go. Juniper Grove. Are you pregnant? No. I got for a second, I thought maybe we couldn't have kids with them, but. Kira Goth is a fan. Yikes, that's no good. Well, maybe I'll try Juniper then. Cheerful introduction. <laughs> um, Leonie, I'm here right now because I can't stream later. Oh, what about, no, wait, this is one of my favorite townies. Oh, I guess I already talked to Juniper, so maybe I'll start with Juniper. Invite to feel baby, share photos, discuss logic puzzles, tell engaging story, debate game strategy. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll kiss hands. I want to add Juniper Grove to this club, but oh, here's some more people that we could try. Octavia Moon, Jeb's in a in a. Oh, wait a minute. Honestly, sorry, I'm gonna try Jeb instead because Jeb's in a hot dog costume, and that's more fun. I've changed my mind. Sorry. <laughs> I think Jeb will be the next baby daddy. <laughs> yeah, the fan just passed out. So excited to see me that they fainted. Really good stuff. Okay. Um, any tips for trying this challenge? Um, maybe don't. <laughs> maybe my number one tip would be to not. How about that? Are you here? Here we go. I guess Octavia is quite old, so maybe I'll try and have kids with Octavia first, and then we can do the rest of them. Octavia is also a celebrity. So that's kind of fun. Um, oh, I pressed cloud gaze. I didn't really mean to do that. Here, kiddo, what are you doing? I was gonna have you try and, like, really work on your skills, so let's... Get a move on with that. You kids, you're only a C student. You need another school project, I fear. You're gonna get aged up. You could probably benefit from another school project. Where are all the other babies? They have to move out of the house. Um, that's kind of how it works. Once they become a teen, you age them up and move them out. Um, or once they get, sorry, once they get an A in high school as a teen, you can age them up and move them out. And then you get rid of them so you have more space for future kids. The goal isn't necessarily to have a hundred kids in your house at once. The goal is to raise a hundred kids successfully. Um, so all the other kids are out of the house. I can show you my family tree. It's quite chaotic, but they're all grown now and gone. Um, Suki, so with the Stardew Valley board game, there's not like a single winner. When you play the Stardew Valley board game, it's like a cooperative thing where everyone is working together for the same goal. So you're all trying to like win the game. There's a couple tasks you have to complete to win the game and everybody works together to do it. There isn't like a winner and a loser in that game. You can also play solo if you want to in the Stardew Valley board game. Well, this was really easy actually to get her to like me. Come here, kiss her. No, none of the kids have kids. They live in full households with their siblings, though. There's like eight sims per household. They haven't adopted any kids or anything, though. Okay, Octavia, we should be ready for when I give birth tomorrow for us to have more kids. So that'll be really fun. Um, come on, hurry up. That guy just pranked my toilet. Oh, Jeb's cleaning this. That's pretty useful of you, actually. Oh, you know what else I'll do is take a photo with Octavia so I can get it ready for the wall. Are we in our third trimester? Okay. 
Good stuff. Oh, you can be a perfectionist. I like that. Picture perfect. All right. Here's our photo with Octavia. Add a frame. Octavia is going to be the parent of baby number 48. Oops. Octavia Moon. We're working a little bit ahead right now because even like baby number 49 is not born yet. Um, what am I doing? Sorry. I need to add a row below. And then we need to make this say 48. Get rid of that. Octavia Moon. Okay, good. Are those urns? Oh, they sure are. <laughs> they sure are. Thank you for asking. Okay, let's get the mail. All right, more stuff that I can just get rid of quick. Good. All right. Oh, Snappy! Oh my God. Snap, come here, sweetie. You wanna come say hi to everybody? Cat cam, cat cam, cat cam. No, that's my slime. That's my slime. Come here. Come here. Do you want up? You're thinking about it, but the slime is too interesting. Come here, little worm. Come on. Here we go. Come on. You can jump up. She was trying to see if it was safe. <laughs> we have a cat. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. She jumped off the desk again. Now she's looking at my bookshelf. I wonder if she'll sit on the cat cam. The people are very excited to see you. She's kind of just looking around. She's not been on the cat cam in a while. Um, she keeps like not coming in here when I'm live is the problem. But I guess I'm not usually live at this time. <laughs> so that's part of the problem. <laughs> Snappy, no, 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 come here, sweetie, come here. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Worm, come here, come here. I've attracted her back. I need to be careful not to yell again like I did last time, because then maybe she won't leave. Hi, Worm, come here. Oh, she's looking at the slime again. Okay, I think she's walking away. She just came in to check on us. No cat cam for us, unfortunately. It's absolutely devastating. I don't blame her, slime is fascinating. Yeah, see, you get it. Crawling in my skin from no touching quirk. Oh dear, that's really inconvenient. All right. Did I just hear her come back in? No, I'm imagining it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, okay. No, the backseat gaming thing is just on a timer, Bunny. It's on a timer as a reminder for like when we're building and stuff and people yell. It's just like a general reminder on a timer. It's not triggering towards any certain person. Um, backseat gaming doesn't mean caps. Um, backseat gaming means like screaming at me, the walls are ugly, change them. I hate that chair, use this one instead. Like it, cause there's like levels to suggesting stuff in a build, you know, and you don't have to preface it with like, this is ugly, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you can be like, oh, what if you tried this chair without having to first complain about the one that I'm using, you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, people that we, we put a on a timer, a reminder to just be gentle, you know? That's kind of what that is, but it's not, it's not because of any certain person. Um, the bot does not reply to people for like, problems. Only the human mods do that. All right. I guess next maybe, oh, I should probably come take care of this. You can water and weed and harvest all of this. Okay. I guess I'll just triple speed then again, because I'm trying to get I'll just go until tomorrow. 
Yeah, that's a good a good distinction, Christine. It's like using all caps is fine when it's like an enthusiasm thing, but when you're like like making demands and like yelling at me to do something with my builds, then spamming in all caps is not really so fine. <laughs> you know, there's like levels to it. Um, I don't really care if you use caps, but when when the caps are making your message seem like you're being aggressive, that's no good. Um. Okay. Okay, all replenished. Um, creative, the social bunny interactions work decently well for, um, for that, for like replacing the photo trick, but I haven't really been using social bunny to be completely honest with you with these Sims. It's not really been a thing that's crossed my mind too much. So. Homework complete. Oh, actually doing your homework is a fascinating activity. I don't know why I hadn't really considered that. Leave me alone. You can do this homework too. I mostly just do the school projects and it works out quite well. Yeah, she's ready to age up. All right, we should be good tomorrow, I think, chat. We should be good tomorrow. All right. Boomful and Fran and Holly and Dylan and Chrissy and Jasmine and Bandana and Twiggy and Prince and Kate and Turtle. Thank you for the subs, everybody. I really appreciate that. All right. The social bunny interactions bother you and you use none of them? Oh my. Yeah, they're kind of weird, the social bunny interactions. I agree. I'm not really a massive fan of them either. Um, okay. Um... Sorry, I was looking at my upload schedule really fast. I was just making sure um, that I had made a thumbnail for today's video <laughs> before I forgot. But I did it already, so it's fine. Um, you cannot have a difficult family dynamic. No, 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 you cannot do that. My oh my. Like the better build by mod bunny? Yeah, I've made videos on the better build by mod. I don't really use a lot of, um, modded content like that in my build videos because I try to make it a little bit more easily replicated by the average Sims player. Um, so I don't really use a lot of like better build by mod and stuff in, in these things. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of features that I find really cool and very useful and like I would very much enjoy building with it, but I just don't really use mods like that in my videos. So anyway, um, oh, fishing. We're making some decent money. I guess we're trying to save up a large amount of money because we're gonna maybe build a new house. Is that what we decided? Not today, but eventually. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna triple speed. I don't even care what the kids do. I just want to get until the kid is born and we're back in school. I hate the weekends in this. So boring. <laughs> okay, Melanie and everybody, thank you for the subs, I appreciate that. Okay. Hurry up. Yeah, there's a lot of really nice features in Better Build By. It's a it's a really, really nice mod. Um, lots of helpful things in there. So. See, this is what I was talking about earlier, where you where I would get the phone calls and I would just accept it to take the money and then quit. I don't really care to do that right now, but that's kind of what I was explaining earlier, so. Um, okay. Are you even painting or are you like totally bugged? Maybe that's the problem, she's glitched. Oh, it was done. See, it's glitched. Uh oh, let's reload. Uh oh. You said you have visitors today, any plans? Uh, Omi, the plans are Hope and her girlfriend Madison are coming over and they're gonna meet my cats. That is the plan. <laughs> Um, that's it. <laughs> There's not like any wild or dramatic plans, um, but they're gonna meet the cats. Best day, so. <laughs> we'll probably order food and then meet the cats, basically. And and she can play with my slime, that's true. I did get a bunch of slime, so Hope can, Hope can see it. Hope as in the famous Goose Kingdom, yeah. Um, her, her mom and her girlfriend are going to Disney tomorrow. Um, they had like a, I forget exactly how it works because I don't have any experience with this personally, but they came to Disney as a family 
like a few months ago when her grandma like paid for everyone to go um and because her parents get like military discount tickets um you can basically at a certain point like with the disney tickets you can basically buy like when you're the more days you buy the cheaper they get right so like it's expensive still but you can like add an extra day for a very small amount of money so they had an extra day left with their ticket um that they couldn't use because of like days off work then and so they're coming this weekend to go to just one park tomorrow um and they're flying in today so they're gonna come over um while they are in town so kind of fun but they had the extra day ticket so um, Disney tickets are really expensive. To be honest, I don't know how much the discounted military tickets are. I have no familiarity with that, obviously. And I don't really know how much, that, like, if you're gonna buy, like, a five-day ticket, I have no idea how much that costs, because I don't buy those. <laughs> like, I have, like, the Florida Resident Annual Pass, so <laughs> I don't know how much regular tickets cost when you're buying multiple. It can be anywhere from, like, 150-ish to, like, 200-ish dollars a day um, for the first day depending on what park you're going to and when you're going. Cause like Christmas day is more expensive than like the slow season, you know? Um, so it kind of depends, but it's very expensive. Yeah. So, but that's the thing when you buy, if you buy like a week of tickets, the seventh day does not cost that much money. This, they, 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 what they do is they like heavily discount the later days of your trip because they want you to stay longer and spend more money like buying at the restaurants and staying at the hotel. And so you can get like, the longer you're staying, it's cheaper to go to the park, so. Anyway. Um, when Matt and I went to Disney together for the first time, we added a day to, a to our tickets while we were down there, and at the time in 2012, it was an extra $15 per ticket to add a day. Yeah, see? And yeah, they're open Christmas Day. They're open every day, Bailey. Disney does not close for, like, basically any reason it's rare they'll even end up closing for hurricanes because we don't get like really too bad of storms here in central florida um so so like even the even the hurricanes don't usually result in disney closing they're open all the time Di christmas day is like the busiest day of the year one of them so well they were closed for a few months during covid but that's not really what we're talking about <laughs> that's a different experience that's a that's not their average operations so um, but it's basically always open, so, um, and it's very, very busy, but busy, but you think about how many people come here, like, like, the times that you might expect it to close, I guess, like, on a holiday, like, Christmas Day, that's when everybody wants to go, because they've flown to Orlando for their, for their kids' holiday vacation, and they're, they want to go to Magic Kingdom on Christmas Day and see the Christmas parade, like, that, um, and they have like special Christmas fireworks and stuff. Um, so people like, they want to come for the holidays. The holidays are the busiest time for them. Um, so. Anyway, they don't even like, cause it doesn't get cold here either. Like they don't have to close things during the winter. They do close um, some of their water rides. They'll close for maintenance in like January-ish time. Um, but that's because they're water rides, but otherwise everything's open. You know, Panda, they have a decent amount of vegan options at Disney, more than you would expect. Disney is like pretty good at accommodating dietary restrictions, like with allergies and stuff too. They're pretty good about it. Um, and like pretty like forthcoming about stuff to help people. Um, I wouldn't like, I, I would say that I'm kind of a connoisseur of Disney's um, vegan options because <laughs> I follow some, like, vegan Disney food accounts on Instagram, and, like, I have an annual pass, and so I've been quite a few times. Um, I wouldn't say that most of the options are that good, but they're there. And there's a few things that I really like. Um, but there's some stuff that was, like, actually, like, genuinely kind of nasty. So it just depends. There's this place in Animal Kingdom called Satuli Canteen that has tofu bowls in, like, the Avatar space that if you're going to go to Disney World, you have to go there, okay? They have, like, non- vegan food there too if you want like chicken or whatever but um they have really good tofu bowls there like really good tofu bowls there so if you're gonna go to disney world you have to go to that restaurant in animal kingdom okay it's like the quick service place you can order a mobile order in the um pandora area but you have to go there yeah we're talking about disney world in orlando because i live in orlando so um yeah kind of it's kind of fun though Okay. 
taking notes knowing I'm never gonna step foot in Disney. Yeah, right? Um, no, they don't have it in Disneyland. They, I'm not as familiar with Disneyland, obviously. I, I don't live there, so um, I'm not as familiar with, with it and what they have going on in that park. Um, but I am local to here, so. A non-vegan place offering a vegan option with protein? Kind of a miracle, yeah. Um, they have some interesting stuff there. It, they have a lot of like fake meat stuff, which I'm not really all that interested in. Um, I like when they have like tofu and non, like impossible burger type stuff. Most of the restaurants, like any of the burger places probably have an impossible burger, like that kind of thing, but I don't really care to get that, you know? Um, okay. You are awake. You probably shouldn't be. Let's just go to sleep. Kate and Beth and Lupina and Lurking and Cheshire, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay. Yeah, they're pretty cool. The The chefs there are pretty cool. Um, it's, I think, quite impressive what they're able to help accommodate. So, oh, I probably should sa save the game. Gone into labor. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Um... Come on, come on, let's go have the baby. Have baby at hospital, send alone. Oh my. But yeah, I'm not really big into like fake meat stuff. Um, I'll eat it because oftentimes it's like the only thing and it's fun to have a burger sometimes, I guess, or whatever, like an impossible burger, but I just don't like so many restaurants, that's the only option. And so it's just kind of not the vibes, you know? <laughs> not really interested in it. Okay. 1,669 names. This baby is going to be called number 466. Oops, scrolled too far. 466 Dolly. Oh, I like that. Okay, Dolly. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting with the fake meat stuff. Um. I guess it's not like fully targeted towards people like me though. Like the Impossible Burger, I don't think that their target audience is people who don't eat meat completely. I think it's people who like, maybe want to eat less meat, you know, is kind of the, the people that they're targeting it towards. Um, and so people might like choose it as the alternative sometimes, as opposed to like only eating it. So I don't know. I don't really want something that tastes like meat though. <laughs> but it's nice to have because it is good and people that want to eat less meat, like they like it and that's a win, so. Um, okay, well, we have to get the club gathering started again because I need to have a baby with Octavia, so. Um, and there are a lot of people who might like choose to eat meat or to choose to not eat meat for like different reasons and still enjoy the taste. Cause like I, I stopped eating meat for like ethical and environmental reasons, right? And I also think it's gross. So it's like a win-win, I guess. <laughs> but like I, I always gave me the, the creeps when I was younger and I still ate meat when I was a kid, you know? But there's a lot of people who still like meat but maybe want to eat less for that reason. So it's nice to have like something that tastes like it to them. Um, Octavia, please, 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 please. Okay, here we go. Try for baby with Octavia. Um, come on. Try for baby, try for baby. What are you doing? Oh, smelly. And I didn't work on your skills, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. My bad, my bad. Okay, baby time. Yeah, that's sort of how I feel about it too, Panda. Um, I I don't really have the expectation that all people everywhere will be able to stop eating meat or like have any desire to do that. It's just not feasible. Like, um, I think that people eating less is a good thing always. And so offering people options for it is a good thing always. I'm not gonna sit here and judge you for it. Like I, you know, whatever. Um, okay, are you pregnant? Let's find out. <laughs> That's twins! That's horrible! Okay, well we had baby number 47 and we got pregnant with 48 and 49. Okay, let me just change the name of her thing really quick. 
This is 48 and 49. Yikes. Okay. Okay. What was I gonna do? Oh, I have to kill her and take a pregnancy test. Would you come here with me together, please? Thank you. I guess we have a lot of teens, so this is fine. Come here, Octavia. We're coming onto the lot so I can kill you. Oh, I have to fix the spreadsheet too, because it is actually, believe it or not, 48 and 49 with Octavia Moon. So that's horrible. Ah, sorry. I was looking at chat and not at this and I messed up. She's on the lot. Oh. I put on Leyline on. No, I didn't. I talked about it, but I didn't. Um, I do not have it on. Proof, I'll show you. I did not put it on. So we got lucky <laughs> or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> okay, well, you definitely have to die, Octavia. That's for sure. Um, let's die from embarrassment because you should be embarrassed for giving me twins. <sighs> die. Die. There we go. Thank you. Oh my god, stop crying. Oh my god, stop complaining about this. Are you tired? No. Sleep anyway. Oh no. We're having some big problems, chat. Please, whatever you all do, don't go look at that. Don't, don't, don't go outside. Don't go look at it. Don't. None of you care about the Sim dying either. You didn't even know her, so it's fine. Okay. Time to go, bye! Thank you, Grim. Oh, you're taking too long. <laughs> Geeks. Mercy, thank you for the subs. Oh my. Come on. Come on. Oh, yikes. I, I have too many Sims in my house to even have twins. So we have to get rid of this kid. This one's gonna age up tomorrow, so that's okay. Um, they should be able to get an A in school today. You get some leftovers. You need to come. Um, I guess I'll feed and change the baby's diaper and then I'll age it up into an infant. Why are we killing them? I never know how to answer this question. People are really dramatic about it. It's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun. I don't know. It helps keep track of who the parents are. It's chaotic and it causes people stress when they see my basement. It's just fun. Why not? Um, it's just silly, so I don't really know how to answer it other than that. <laughs> just because. Um, anything that adds to the chaos, right? Can you go back to bed? Everyone needs to be fully rested before school today. It's important to me. Um. Oh, I have no food. Okay. That I can buy some more of. We'll start there. Please serve all. What? Don't cook anything. Yeah, there's a couple urns in a couple places. Ooh, 9,000 simoleon bills. There's two urns in some of the places because sometimes the deaths glitched and I didn't get a grave or like I didn't. Sometimes um, they died in the middle of me woohooing them. So I didn't get a chance to get pregnant. So I like brought them back to life. A couple things like that. Um, sounds weird when you say it like that, but that's what happened. <laughs> Alright. How are you doing? I can't even click on you. Oh my gosh. You need food. It's Halloween. Oh, wow. Dolly is a sunny infant. That is good. Alright. We can make that work. Um, we're on 47 kids and still the first mom because Sims don't age when they're pregnant. She's been on like one day away from being an adult for like months in real life because the Sims don't age while they're pregnant. So that's kind of a pro tip if you can keep them pregnant as long as possible. Um, they don't grow up. <laughs> so she's still only a young adult. Uh, and the gathering. Okay. I want you to work on some tummy time with this child. 
because it's born and I have to make sure I have to make sure it gets aged up before the next baby is born because we're having twins next time so we have to be ready cursed will be the next parent I don't know maybe Jeb Harris we talked about that I'm not really sure yet um also people keep asking we're playing on normal lifespan um normal lifespan but the sims age up usually like the the kids usually age up quicker than that because they have to, like there's different rules for aging them up based on like their grades in school and stuff okay kiddo you want to get some food and then you can come talk to this bear that'll help your needs <laughs> Have I done Judith Ward or is she dead? No, I think she might be dead already, unfortunately. We're running out of um, original townies that we can have kids with. Most of them are dead. So. Um, right, I might end up wanting to pick a new heir. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. Um, I probably could finish it with just Rosa. I think that it wouldn't be too hard to do that. But I might end up wanting to pick a new one just for like something more interesting. No, I'm gonna get rid of that. Just to have like something more interesting to do. I don't know. Okay, kid, how are you doing? You need to hug the bear more. And you need to look at your toys more. And you need to, oh, you don't need to eat anything. Oh, well, I guess I'll shower in the meantime. Didn't know heirs were allowed. Yeah, the the rules say to to move on with the next youngest kid. Uh oh, oh never mind. No one's dead. If you need to, um, I when I played this on my YouTube channel to make it more fun, I was doing like an alphabet baby thing. So like I would do A to Z names, and then um, I would after I finished twenty six, I would pick a new heir on purpose. I didn't need to, obviously. Um, but it was just kind of a way to shake things up a little bit more. Um, because otherwise it was kind of boring, so. Um, but I was doing it on purpose. I was, like, stopping early, basically, intentionally, even though I could have kept going with the same sim, just because I wanted to have something more to do. And I would have them all have, like, a different way of making money and stuff each time. What's the new kid's name? Um, I think that the randomizer said Dolly. I don't remember. I think it was Dolly. Lift head milestone, that's good. That is really good. Okay, we'll just keep going all day, I guess. <laughs> oh, we're doing all right. We are doing all right. What, did you stop? You have to keep doing tummy time, it's very important. No stopping, only tummy time. I need skills. As many skills as physically possible. <laughs> All right, how are you doing? You're gonna get aged up in a minute. That'll be good. All right. Imagination level three, I can age you up. Okay, I might have to, at this point, I might just wait until our siblings get home from school so I can have a sibling help age me up because it's only a couple hours away. Yeah, the teenager, this one should age up today. This one will get a B today. Um, lots of great improvements today. The weekend sucks because you can't, oh, roll over to back milestone unlocked. Oh, okay, then I can age the kid up then. That kid got his milestones quick. Help log candles for the toddler who has level three and three skills like we needed. You will be allowed to go to sleep in a minute, but I'm gonna make you play with your toys before you do that. Cause I want your mom to take care of you and put you to bed. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, next kid, aged up. Here we go. Bookworm. You, my friend, are allowed to shower now. Good for you. Okay. You, my friend, need to be fed and then put to sleep. Get fed by Rosa. 
Um, no, we don't have a job. Rosa paints for money for the most part. Um, is kind of how we've been doing it. All grades are up. Everybody got a school project. <laughs> All right, this teen can age up and move out because you've got an A in school. So that's step one. We can get rid of this sim finally. No. Blow out candles. Back. Blow out candles. No one else can age up today. Um, I thought I edited the title. Oh yeah, I, I put it to say 47. Um, you have to refresh to see the title edits on your end. Um, but I did put it to say 47. You just have to refresh to see it. But if you tune into the stream new, it'll... It'll show the right thing. Okay, you can be moved out. I might also sell this project of yours. Um, do I want to hang up? I have some like really cute... Oh, I guess I already have that one. Never mind. Maybe I'll sell this plate of yours too. And then I can get rid of you. Okay, step one. Her name is B. I thought it was Smelly. Oh, one of the kids is named Smelly. That's the thing. We have um, the the randomizer of name suggestions that were all like by people from chat. So there's some various degrees of chaos in there. Cause oh, there was a sim named Beef. We've had one of those too. We've had Beef, B, Smelly, all the ones you're thinking of. Um, but we did it during my charity fundraiser for St. Jude, which is a children's hospital. Um, and so the there's a great degree of chaos. It's like people named the kid after themselves. They suggested names like Smelly. Um, they also suggested names like like serious names that were in honor of like loved ones that maybe um, had passed away from cancer because of like the stream being a charity fundraiser for those kids. So there's a, a very wide variety of names on the spreadsheet. <laughs> a very, very, very wide variety of them. Um, okay, let's get the sim aged out. Aged out, aged up and moved out, but I guess aged out works too. <laughs> okay, goodbye to B. I liked their name, I thought that was cute. But you know what I like more? Having less Sims. <laughs> yeah, the spreadsheet's in chat. Right above your message just now is the spreadsheet, friend, if you're looking for it. Okay. Yeah, one of them says Honda Civic. That was yours? Oh my gosh, Sale. People like that one. They talk about it a lot when they see it. <laughs> um, anyway. Lots going on in this save. It's very, very, very chaotic. Oh, very much chaotic. <laughs> What's my favorite name? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. All right, kiddo, I'm gonna let you, maybe you can come play with this for a little bit. And then whichever one is yours, you can come work on. You might wanna watch TV for a little bit and then pee. And then whichever one of these is yours, we'll come work on. You honestly are just gonna come work on it. And you need to come start your own cause you just aged up. And you're going to bed. Uh-oh. I'm gonna sneak that a little bit up. I'm sorry. Cravings from junk food fiend lifestyle. I'm sorry. I absolutely, in no way, shape, or form, am interested in that. Oh my god. Okay, the kid is asleep. I'll bathe it when it wakes up. My sim for now, I guess you could maybe come help some of these people with their projects. Yeah, it's a fridge. This bakery case thing, this is from Get to Work. Um, it works like a fridge, so it keeps the food cold, but it's nice because it's like technically out. So the toddlers can grab it themselves without having to like have someone click on and open the fridge for them. So it's pretty useful. All right, everybody's working on their projects. This is pretty good. You finished one. How is your... You probably need to do another one, unfortunately. Sorry. You're gonna take ages to age up. Help him with that one too, so we can get more school, school bonuses. Um, Veronica, I post all my streams on YouTube on my second channel, it's called More Simsy. Um, I'm not gonna like cut this down into a video for my main channel though, if that's what you mean. Um, I'm not gonna put it on like the Lil Simsy YouTube channel. 
too much. It's too much to try and cut these down. <laughs> Uh, Benjamin, it's Ben, and Kate, and Simaris, thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay. Yeah, this is going quite well. A lot of the kids have extra school projects, but I, I'm sort of, um, attached to my method of these projects in particular, so I might not let them use it. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. What's going on in the basement? Oh, not much. Um, it's basically empty, so... <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mental level 10. Yeah, I don't think I want to age you up, even though you got the level 10 mental skill. I feel like it might be better to hold off like we had talked about. Because I think that I made this one harder to age up as a teen by doing that earlier. Um... Okay. Just an unfinished basement. Yeah, nothing to see. Nothing to see there. It's fine. Alright, you finish another one of your picture thingies. Picture thingies? Project thingies, I mean. You can work on your skill or your need stuff now. Sorry, I can't even talk. I don't know what I'm saying. Use the bathroom. Replace that. You're gonna want to get yourself some dinner. You can maybe channel surf a little bit. Um, okay. I didn't even set it up. What about you? You also need some dinner. So I'll grab a serving of that. You are miserable, but your project's not done yet, so you have to wait. <laughs> Sorry. Happy Halloween, though, kids. Yeah, there's a second floor. I don't really need it. Um, I don't really need it so much. So I don't really go up there, but we do have a second floor. Alright, I think the baby is probably rested enough. I might come wake the kid up. Okay. Um, let's give Dolly a bubble bath and then I'll feed it and then I'll try and work on milestones again. I guess. Oh my. Have I done rag searches with school projects? I, I think that you can't make money off of them. Aren't they worth less once you finish them? So I don't think that would work, annoyingly. It would be cool, but I don't think it would work. Oh my, you need to go to bed. Sorry, sleep time for you. You're gonna eat and then you can sleep. You need to sleep. You need to sleep. Okay, that wasn't so bad. We made it through that day pretty decently. All right. Baby is fed. Let's put the baby over here. It just used its diaper after I bathed it. That's ridiculous. Okay. You, my friend, have... You need the playing milestone. And then you need, like, a talking milestone. So we'll try and get that for you. Yeah, the projects come with parenthood. Honestly, if you're gonna play this challenge, the- oh! He's got it. Oh, good job. Okay, I can age this one up as soon as it gets to the grab milestone. So that's good. That makes things way easier. You are a very easy infant. This went really quick. Um, play with the toys. Play with the toys. Play with the toys. Play with the toys. Good. All right. Um, they might be in a bad mood for not doing the Halloween stuff, but that's not my problem. We can age the kid up now! It's got all the milestones it needs! That one was so quick. Alright. The faster we get through this, the better. Come here. Help blow out candles. Dolly. Alright, Jay and Carly and Nicole and kitties, thank you for the subs. No, no, you're not sad. You don't care about that. Shh. We never get upset about the death, because in my mind they should be used to it by now. <laughs> they should be used to it, so they don't get upset about it. That's the rules. <laughs> okay. Come on. 
Halloween was awful. Oh, we're a happy infant. That's good. I had some birthday candles. Come on. Birthday candles, birthday candles, quick. How are your needs? You need to sleep, okay. We can do that. And how pregnant are you now? How long has it been? Second trimester in eight hours, oh. <laughs> I aged that kid up quick. That one went really fast, that was easy. All right, today, thank you for the sub gift too. All right, all right, all right. Let's save the game. We've made really good progress today. Okay. I think we might be able to make it to baby number 50 today as well, which is what I want. So I'm feeling quite good about that. Especially if we have the twins next time. I just have to get these kids aged up and out, but you will probably get, mm, you might get an A in school tomorrow if we get lucky and we try hard enough. We'll see how it goes. Um, right, we have, it kind of depends on like the scale of the event that we're organizing. Um, I'm doing a charity event the first couple days of December that weekend, um, uh, the, like first through third. Um, but uh, that's because um, we wanted to do a thing for Able Gamers, uh, like sort of nearish to the holidays. It's kind of like a fun thing, but not too close. Um, so that's the goal. We're gonna do it the first weekend of December. So it'll be nice. It's also right before the new pack comes out. So it's gonna be a very, very extremely chaotic time. When I started planning this, I didn't know about the pack release schedule. So I'm gonna be really stressed out <laughs> that weekend, but it's okay, it's gonna be fun. So it'll be good. It will be good. Yeah, JJ, we're gonna work on that today. She only just got pregnant yesterday. We have a lot of time. She's not even in her second trimester yet. So we'll pick the next baby parent soon. Yeah, it's gonna be very hectic that weekend though. Does UI cheats work for you? It broke my game, I don't know why. That's because it's a UI mod. You have probably an outdated version of it, friend. Delete the mod and re-download it, okay? Um, the mod breaks with like every single update for The Sims 4, so you have to get a new one every time The Sims 4 updates, um, otherwise it's broken. So if you're if you're sat here wondering like, oh my God, my game like is totally busted, it won't work. And it's UI cheats, it's fault. That's because you probably have an outdated version of it. So so delete it and then re-download it. So, because basically um, the modders, they have to fix the mod when The Sims updates, it like changes the like code and stuff that the, the mod is relying on because they updated it. They updated the code or whatever. And so the mod that was relying on that stuff, all of a sudden it's changed. So it doesn't work anymore. So they have to go back and fix it um, basically every time there's an update, so specifically with the UI mod, because it, like, if they change anything, it's very frequently breaks. So. Um, okay, kids. I think that your needs are actually pretty decent, so you, sh you should be okay at school today. Um. I almost, and this is really bad, but I almost want to like make the pregnancy shorter. If I can get this kid moved out today, I'm like tempted to force the pregnancy to happen now so we can like have baby number 50 because I'm getting too excited about it. That's probably a bad idea, huh? <laughs> I am really tempted though. Um, hey MC Goddess, thank you for that sub gift. I really appreciate that. Study hard, study hard. Okay, good. Very, very, very good. You're eating, then you can shower. You're tired and you also need to eat. Oh my. Scary. <laughs> okay, we have a lot of mail. I think she's gonna have like thousands of dollars worth of mail. Oh my God, what if the mailman is the next baby daddy? No, I have some Sims I wanted to use. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. Um, let me delete all of these toys. Thank you to my Sims uh, previous children for those gifts. I'll open up this fan mail as well. Oh, <gasps> money fruit. Oh. 
I've always said I don't even want to have a money tree because it feels like too cheaty. But maybe I'll get it for a little bit so we can build a bigger house. <laughs> maybe it's worth it for now. Okay, I'll plant it for a bit. I'm not mad about that. I had a money tree in my previous baby challenge and I actually like genuinely didn't like it because I felt like I had too much money. But it might be kind of fun to have for a little bit. I've never seen that. I got it. That was from, um, it was fan mail because my Sims is a celebrity. So she gets like fan mail in the mail from people and they sent her a, a package with a money fruit in it. So I don't play with celebrities very often, so. I have not seen that before. Okay, the kid's a messy eater. That's great. That's money too, though. Leave me alone. All right. I'm gonna try really hard with this kid to get it aged up, like, today, if possible. I don't know if it will be, but we'll see. How do you get money fruit? Oh, you have to buy it. Um, if you look at the rewards store, I have a lot of rewards points, but you can buy the money tree. You can get like a seed. It's 5,000 points. Um, maybe I could get... Oh, we should get like the great kisser trait. Why didn't I have that yet? I already have beguiling. Maybe I can get antiseptics. We don't have to shower. A couple more bonus traits to make our lives easier. I already have steel bladder. Celebrities are bugged in your game? Oh, really, Christine? That's so annoying. Okay, I was gonna have Jeb be the next baby daddy, so I might as well invite him over and get started getting to know him. That might be a good use of our time. All right, Jeb. Hello, Jeb. Do you think that's the front door? Oh, well, no wonder that keeps happening. Oops. Um, I'll describe aesthetics to you. I'll show off muscles, I'll discuss local fishing spots. I don't know. I'll just debate the existence of vampires, I'll share big news, I'll offer a rose. I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor. Oh, thanks! That's really nice of you to say. Ask about day. Share ideas, tell a funny story. Sentiment gained. Okay, he's uncomfortable, which is no good. How old is Jeb by now? Um, an elder? So pretty old. <laughs> uh, Jeb, st to, to give you some context of how old the save is, Jeb starts as a teen when the save first begins. And he's an elder now. So. Yeah, Jeb from Eco Lifestyle. Um, uh, all the original townies are all dying off. He's got 14 days left, though. Won't he die during woohooing? No, not necessarily. Oh, there's paparazzi taking pictures. Not necessarily. Um, I guess you can play inside this one. Because you came all this way to come talk to your mom. I think... I don't think any of our kids should be elders... yet. Um, but probably... soon-ish. If Jeb was a teen, he's a little bit ahead of our kids. So in like... maybe a couple weeks in-game, our kids will start getting old? I don't know. If they all die, can we make sims for you to add to the save? Yeah, we'll start doing some chaotic stuff like that with people that chat have made. That's the plan. That is the plan. Um, I wouldn't do it just yet, because we're still working on some of the townies, but... She only has one child. Grandchild? Wait, did one of them have a kid? Oh, it's our first grandchild! Pizza had a baby called Charlotte! Oh, that's our first grandchild! Well, that's exciting. Huh. Would I ever have this many babies? <sighs> yeah, it's everyone knows it's my lifelong goal to have 47 kids. I'm actually, uh, I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> if 
I wanted to have a significant significant number of kids, I probably should have started already. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh, swab kiss. How about that? He'll be ready for when we need to try for a baby next. Okay, bye. Oh wait, no. Take a picture with him first. Take a photo with Jeb. Is that humanly possible? What, like 47? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, there's ways, like, through, like, surrogacy and stuff, I guess. Um, if you wanted to have, like, 47 biological children. I guess you could probably adopt as well, but I don't know if they would let you do that. They probably shouldn't either. <laughs> I don't know if a single person should have that many kids. Woman with most kids had 44. Oh, really? Yikes. Hope she's okay. All right, this, this guy, Jeb, is gonna be the father of baby number 50. So that's pretty exciting. Um, well, it's easy for a man to do that. That's not fair. They have an unfair advantage. So I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna discuss. They, that's not fair. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So we are not ready to have kids yet. We are only, well, our third trimester starts in 10 hours. So I guess we're getting there, but we're not quite ready for kids yet. Oh God, baby's home. No, we're still a B student. Ugh. Okay, you can age up today. We can get the kids age up into teens today. It's possible that I'll have all three of these teens leave tomorrow, which is really chaotic. Okay. Happy birthday! Jealous. Lovely trait that you have. Oh, interesting um, outfit and makeup choice. Okay. You, my friend, must start taking care of your needs. Uh, you also had an A in school, yeah? So we'll get you aged up. Yeah, that shirt is from high school years, I'm pretty sure. Oh, slob, okay. Interesting outfit choice for you as well. Like, <laughs> love the, the slides. That's pretty good. Channel surf. We do have a Discord. Yeah, Cheshire, we do have a Discord. Um, high school B student. Okay, so that's all the Sims that we had to get aged up today. You are smelly and your tooth hurts. Or no, the house smells and your tooth hurts. Sorry, different. Do you wanna go work on that? <sighs> You'll get aged up tomorrow even if you don't have help or if you don't work on your projects, so it's probably fine. But I might have these two come work on some school projects. Now that their fun is better. How about you? Oh, you're level four, I wasted time, oops. Okay, you need to come slide a few times as well. All right. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Hopefully tomorrow goes better. Is there candles back on that? Okay, good. This is the challenge we started during our St. Jude fundraiser. Yeah, um, we're getting somewhere, finally. Let's make a playful painting. <laughs> then maybe you can help the kids with their projects after that. I don't know. Oh, maybe you, because your siblings are both working on them and you don't really need to do one today. Maybe you can help assist with their projects. And then I will buy, speaking of projects, <laughs> I will buy a whole bunch more of them. <laughs> Ignore noise. Maybe you could just come help with this one so we can try and get two done today. How about that? You can come work on one too. Oh wait, is that your? Oh, that one's no one's. Maybe the sim aged up. Okay. 
Okay. Anybody else feel really overwhelmed? <laughs> oh, look at how they're sitting, because they're it's like glitched. Okay, well, we'll triple speed this then. This kid is getting close to passing out because he's so tired, so I'll probably send him to bed. I'm sorry, buddy. Here you go. We'll work on it tomorrow. We'll work on it tomorrow. All right. Hey, finished. We can do it some more. I feel secondhand overwhelmed for you. Yeah, I I almost always feel overwhelmed in this challenge, but today for some reason is like more so than usual. All right, how are you kids doing on your needs? You probably can come take care of them. Use the bathroom, grab a serving. You can grab a serving. You can shower, I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps it's because we decided to start our morning with it. Yeah, just a casual way to begin the day. Oh no! Toothpaste! Oh. Okay, let me clean the habitat and then we'll we'll get another rat. That's a real shame. Okay. The next rat is going to be named. We like to use our random name generator for this too. Um the next rat, number 1091. Oh, too high. Mug! You know what's really weird? That's two in a row. The green is the rat names. So that's really weird that that happened. Okay. Oh, wait. I haven't upped the the dad count today. How many more have I had? I guess it was one, two, it's, we've had three more, right? Does that make it 34? Might have to check that again later. Um, mug. Okay. I'm not gonna stream again later. That's why I'm live right now. It's because I'm busy later. Um, I won't be able to stream again later. So I, I went live in the morning instead of canceling stream because thankfully on the weekends I have time to do that. Sometimes like during the week I don't, but um, today I had time to stream this morning. So toothpaste got deleted because it was like super, super, super extremely glitched. So I had to delete it. Um, and we haven't had any problems since, but let's not get our hopes up too high because you never know what could happen. So, you gotta be careful. <laughs> no, the baby name um, spreadsheet is the same as the rat name spreadsheet. These are all the suggestions that were, don't, people donated money to my charity fundraiser to suggest names. Um, and that's how we're, we're getting these, so. Is Dan gonna stream today? I don't think so, cause he's gonna hang out with me, Hope and Madison, so. Um, my friend Hope, who lives in New York City, is coming. You guys know Hope, because she's in chat, Goose Kingdom. Hope also does the closed captions on my YouTube videos. So if you've ever clicked on the closed captions on my YouTube videos, Hope wrote them. Um, <laughs> but my friend Hope, who lives in New York, is coming in town to Orlando this weekend. Um, so she's gonna come over tonight and meet the cats, um, the kittens. She's met Snap before, but she's gonna come see the kittens. So kind of a special occasion today. I can't stream later because of that. All right. Oh, Carrie, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming by the stream. I'm glad that you can make it. All right, let's go to sleep. You go to sleep. You could probably, honestly, we could have you take a shower. Oh, you didn't finish your project. Uh-oh. Well, it might be better for you to like get some food and shower and then finish it tomorrow in the morning. I don't normally stream on Sundays, but I think I might play a little bit of uh, City Skylines tomorrow just because I really want to. <laughs> I don't normally stream on Sundays, but I might be here tomorrow morning too for a little bit. Um, so, not normally, but tomorrow I will be here, I think, for the special occasion. Okay, you go to sleep, all right? Everybody to bed, 1 a.m. Um... Come on, come on, everyone to bed. Do you only have English subtitles? Um, like, do you mean like for the captions for my YouTube videos? Uh, they are, you can like auto translate them on YouTube. Um, 
which you know may or may not be the best thing, but you can do that. Um, I pay Hope to write captions in English. Um, I, it would be almost impossible and like not feasible to pay someone to translate like for real every single video um because i'm already paying someone to do it in english um but it will auto translate on youtube um obviously like it's better to have real translations than the auto ones same thing like youtube has auto captions but the real captions are better um so um i don't know it's just not really feasible it's all it's kind of expensive to pay someone to do um, like hand done captions as well, but um, I think worth it. So sounds like it's time for Hope to learn a couple languages. Oh my god, could you imagine? <laughs> um, yeah, so I imagine like the thing is though, YouTube's auto translate would use Google Translate, and Google Translate is not like perfect, but it's it's getting so good. So um, and it's like understandable. Cookie, I would I would never ask anyone to do it for free, um, and I'm not really uh, able to like pay someone to do it in every language. But I would never ask anyone to do it for free because it's work. So um, anyway, it's just not really feasible for every video. So I post every day, you know, like it's just not. Um, yeah, well, Pinky, the thing is. Um, uh, I think a lot of folks on YouTube don't really think about it. Um, and I, what I will say is the captions are getting better, the auto captions, but a lot of folks on YouTube, A, uh, like can't really afford to pay someone to do captions, but B, also like don't really think about it. Um, I am personally of the opinion that if you're posting only once a week um, and it's like sponsored content where it gets done like mega in advance, it's not hard to get someone to do captions of it, especially when it's like 10, 15 minutes long like a lot of YouTube videos are. Um, but I think a lot of people don't think about it. Um, I pay Hope by the minute, um, so um, I pay her like a few dollars a minute for the video, um, and so like longer videos obviously like cost more to get captioned, um, and that's like pretty standard. So um, anyway, it's not like impossible for people to pay for that, but a lot of people just don't realize. Um, but it's cool because a lot of people use the captions, like you would be so surprised how many people use them, um, because like maybe like for like the more maybe obvious reasons the people that are hard of hearing and stuff might need them people watch the video maybe they play it quite like quietly because their their baby is napping in the room so they're playing the video but like softly so they don't wake the baby up so they put the captions on for that maybe they're trying to learn english so they put the captions up so that they can like watch and like read it and listen at the same time to try and like learn the language better like people use them for so many different reasons Maybe just so you don't want to miss anything. Maybe you're neurodivergent. Like there's so many reasons people might, might need captions. Um, so it's quite cool to be able to, to have them, I think. Um, so audio processing disorders. Yeah, exactly. There's so many reasons. Um, we are a captions family. I'm 99% sure Cherry Tomato taught herself how to read through having captions on the TV. Yeah, see, exactly. It's like having them up. There's so many good benefits of it. So um, yeah. Um, helps you to listen. Yeah, see, it, I, I think the same thing about a lot of stuff. Um, I don't use captions on everything I watch, but a lot of times, like, when I'm, like, sometimes maybe struggling to follow it, like, um, this is a silly example, but with Love Island, because there's oftentimes a lot of people talking, um, I, I find it's, like, better for me to watch Love Island with captions because it's a little bit easier for me to follow and, like, focus on. Um, it's not really an accent thing so much as it's just there's, like, too much going on, but, um, yeah. <laughs> oh no, by the minute like of the video. Yeah, Jen, um, confusing. It sounds like how many minutes it takes her. <laughs> no, uh, by the minute of the video. So, but yeah, captions are, are quite useful. So, um, let's put them on for the Great British Baking Show. <laughs> yeah, see, it helps a lot of people with British shows and like British accents. And I guess there are sometimes people on Love Island that have accents like when they're talking quickly. I'm like, what did you just say? <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite good though. To, so to give an example of like the auto captions being bad on YouTube, I don't even know if I should say this. I got a report in to my Discord server. We have like a ticket system where you can send in reports. And they were like, hey, I just wanted to let you know that I'm watching, it was like an Animal Crossing stream. They're watching the Animal Crossing stream and they had the auto captions on. Um, Cause I 
it's not feasible to pay someone to caption the, the VOD re-uploads. They're like hours long, you know? Um, but they were watching the Animal Crossing stream. And I was talking about the Dodo code. The Dodo code. Now, perhaps you can think of, and don't say it in my chat, of inappropriate word that might sound like Dodo. It thought I was saying that multiple times, which now makes me realize that probably every time I've ever said Dodo code in an Animal Crossing stream, the auto captions probably thought it was that. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Oopsies, but that I, I can't go back and fix that on every Animal Crossing stream ever, can I? I can't just go look for every time I said Dodo. <sighs> anyway, go uh, way to go auto captions, thank you. <laughs> uh, and Dodo is a real word, but I guess it's not that commonly spoken, so I don't know. But yeah, that was pretty bad. Okay, the kids are all awake. Let's get some food. Yeah, no good. Thought you meant doo-doo? Oh no, 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 something else that I shouldn't say in this family-friendly stream. <laughs> something else. Now it might happen in this VOD. I'm curious to, to, to find out. What are you guys doing? When I put this one up on YouTube, it's probably gonna happen there too. <laughs> We're testing it out. <laughs> Let me check really fast on this Twitch captions. Dodo code. Okay, it says Dodo code in the Twitch captions. I checked. All right, that's good. <laughs> Yikes. You still have no idea? I can't say it. It's inappropriate in a sexual way, and that's why I can't say it in my family-friendly stream. People have their kids watching with them right now. We can't. <laughs> Christine! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Christine said I love dill pickles. In this context... Anyway, sorry, I don't wanna- we shouldn't keep talking about it. It isn't like that inappropriate of a word. I just try to not discuss these such things in my family-friendly sim streams, you know? But I'm the one who brought it up, so it's my bad. Here's the bathroom. <laughs> I know! That's the thing! How would it mistake Dodo with that? Now people get it. Yeah, see? Okay, hopefully the kids can get aged up today. <laughs> Study hard. Uh-oh. You ate breakfast, I think. I saw it. You ate breakfast before you went. Alright, kiddo, you are... Uh, you used the bathroom and you got a bath, I think. I'm pretty sure I saw that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Sky, Clover, Kaylee, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, how pregnant are you? Give birth any second. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait and see. Oh, Harvest Fest is tomorrow. We definitely don't have school off on Harvest Fest, right? Let me just check. Yeah, no, okay, good. We have to go to school. Oh, the rat is hungry. Sorry, rat. My bad, my bad. Oh, you know what else I should do? Is this water? Yeah, okay. We got a money tree. We got a money tree. Um... Let's see, the rat is fed. Maybe I'll, <gasps> Oh, I did just feed it, but I killed it really fast. I only had that one for like a day. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, that's really bad. Okay, well, we'll get another one. <laughs> Um, the next rat is gonna be called 1450, okay. Um. <laughs> the next rat is going to be named 5,004, for the kids! Oh, like how I raised $500,000 for St. Jude. Well, that's nice. 
See? I want our money back. <laughs> okay, um, should we just call it wrong number? Oh, what was the number? Oh, sorry to that person, 1450. Oh. Sorry. Bellamy! <laughs> Bellamy! Sorry to that other person, I don't know who. I was looking at the, um, this number instead of this number, which is wrong. Well, that's bad. Okay. New baby! I mean, new rat! <laughs> well... The food is full, maybe I'll give it a treat. Alright, um... You kiddo just have to keep doing this until you get level 3 of the movement skill, so I'll be able to age you up soon. Zoom playful painting. <gasps> you got yelled at this morning in the pharmacy because your kid wasn't in school. Like some old lady yelled at you? It's a Saturday! Oh my god. The nerve of people to eat, like, even if it was a school day, to even get involved in that is like... That is unbelievable. Did you, like correct her or did you just leave because i i feel like i i would have probably started crying and left and not been like stupid lady it's a saturday but like it's the pharmacy the kid could be sick easily like <sighs> that is ridiculous the nerve of some people to like get involved like that <sighs> you could even be homeschooling for all they know like there's so many oh, yes. that was eight thousand simoleons oh my well, that was probably too much. <laughs> I'm gonna make another cake. I already have one, but I'm just gonna make another one so we've got, like, a, a stockpile happening because the cake is gonna... Did I have you all study hard? Yeah, I did. The cake, the cake is gonna expire soon. Okay, this kid should get an, a grade up today. You should get your grade up today. Oh, we're getting all the kids moved out of the house today. Exciting. Yeah, I would have cried. I'm sorry that happened to you. <laughs> Just walked away. He's not even old enough for school. That's even like... Oh. That just makes it like 10 times more unbelievable. It's like too little as well. And still getting yelled at by random ladies at the pharmacy. All right. Kiddo, are you ready to age up? Yes, you are. I'll use up the previous cake. Cause see, it spoils in 26 minutes. So I have to do it quick before it spoils. Come on, quick, 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 Rosa! Okay. See, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm glad I made it in advance because I would have been really upset. Help blow out candles for Dolly, come on. Help blow out candles. Oh my, is Twitch lagging again? Uh-oh. You are a B student. Start working carefully. You're aging up. Okay. You cannot have a difficult family dynamic. I reject that. All right, and then we have to age up the next three teens. Also, we're gonna give birth any second, so this should be interesting. You, a student, blow out candles. The weekend really slowed us down, huh? Happy birthday! Add the candles back. So we can get the next sim. Help blow out candles. Come on! Happy birthday! Aww. Okay. Add the candles back. <laughs> One more. <laughs> One more. Okay. Happy birthday to you as well. Did you go to sleep? No, no, you can't do that. You need to take care of all your needs. 
Take a shower. Get some leftovers. Are you ready to age up? Gone into labor! Oh my god! <laughs> Happy birthday! Okay, okay, let me get rid of all those sims. Um, can you add the birthday candles back to this quick? Friends, I might actually let the teens stay here for a second, just before I kick them out. Um, they're young adults now, I guess, but I might let them stay here just for a sec. So they can help with the baby while I'm getting pregnant with the next one. Okay, so... The next baby is going to be called... 1657? That's quite close to the end. 1657. Hansley is the name of the first baby. Okay, let me write it down so I don't forget. Hansley. Hello, welcome to the family. And unfortunately it was twins. So the next baby after that, 744. 744. Broccolina! Oh, that's nice. Broccolina. Oh, Mug the rat died of starvation. I know. I know. Okay, let's call up Jeb. What if he just called Jeb up? <laughs> Where are the babies? Okay. Broccolina, I like these names. Those are kind of cute. I always forget their names really quickly though. It's kind of the problem. Poor Mug, lifespan of nine minutes. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, maybe you can feed this baby while your sibling feeds the other one. And then we'll age them up while your mom tries to get pregnant. Hug. Hello? Jeb? Um, kiss hands? Okay, let's see. I want to try for a baby. We should be able to. I've already kissed you, right? Yeah. Do you want to try for a baby in the hot tub? That might be kind of fun. Oh! My kid is a notable newcomer. Alright, how about you guys? Can you... Can we age up the babies yet? Here, you age this one up. Alright. And you age this one up. Here we go. Oh my. <laughs> That's not a bad trait. Cautious or something was that? I forget. Oh, they're both the same traits. Okay. I can do that. Would you like to put down Hansley? And then you put down Broccolina. Come on. Did you finish? Oh, okay. Yikes. <laughs> uh, you mind your business. I'll be over here taking care of the babies. Okay, I'm gonna have the, the older sims help a little bit before I kick them out of the house, because it would be really useful to me for you all to help. And this is totally allowed in the rules. So we have the space in our household, we might as well. Um, tummy time, tummy time, tummy time, tummy time, tummy time, tummy time, okay. Eight sims? Oh, I have my max household sizes increased, so it's fine. They'll be gone. We're pregnant! Okay. Jeb, I am going to now kill you. <laughs> um, sim no, wrong thing. Sim commands, maintain sim, kill sim. How about swarmed by flies? Because he's from the eco lifestyle world. Bye! Thank you! Well, that is pregnant with baby number 50, by the way. We just had 48 and 49. So I'll change the stream title to 49. Oh, all right. Jeb, come here. Into the basement you go. Hi, Rosa. I'm calling to let you know Jeb Harris has passed away. No way. 
I never could have guessed. How are you guys doing? Um, did you work on a project at all? I don't think you've done any project yet. Yikes. You can probably come eat. Use the bathroom. I'll let you get some leftovers. I hate having twins. Ugh. And you know what's worse about having the twins is that the babies are gonna like, look at them all scream. But the babies, they're gonna be, um, they'll probably still be infants by the time the next baby's about to be born. Cause when you have twins, it takes like 10 times longer. So what, why did you kill him? Why not? Look what I've got going on down here. I don't understand why everyone is always so shocked by this. Well, everybody really acts like I've done something so horrible that they just can't fathom. Every time I, every time I do that, I don't get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you wanna come get some food maybe? All right, I'll probably kick these kids out relatively soon. I wanna see if you can at least get me some of the milestones for the babies though. Yeah, we have a pick with Jeb already. I got it before we did this. Lift head milestone. Good job. Lift head milestone. Good job. Okay, you could probably use this bathroom if you want. Oh, do you want to help? Your needs are fine. Start doing tummy time. This is the benefit of having all these sims. So much going on. Okay. You queue up some more tummy time with yours too. Tummy time is the most annoying part of this. So if I can get that mostly complete when I still have this, the sims here, that'll be good. Yeah, I do, but Mama, there's a playlist on YouTube with, uh, on my More Simsy channel with all of these, um, all of these episodes of Not So, of 100 Baby, not Not So Very, sorry. Whoops. Okay, kid, you might want to go to sleep. Maybe your sibling can go to sleep too, because he's exhausted. Okay, I'm probably not going to get that one aged up before the weekend, but it's... It's possible that maybe Richard could be, but I'm not sure. Not so baby. I wish this challenge was called the not so baby challenge. I mean it. How much better would life be if it was the not so baby challenge? <laughs> then we'd have less. This is the opposite of that. Marie, Laura, Kat, thank you for the subs, by the way. Okay. Um, Sky, occult babies in the rules technically do count as double. But I, I sort of feel like that's cheaty. I don't really, I don't really know if I like that rule that much. So I, I sort of choose to not play with the occult sims counting as double. Okay, this one is good now, so I can feed you and then put you to bed. Um, okay. Yeah, having teens is such a big help. But yeah, the occult rule, I just... It feels like it. It feels like it's a little bit too, too easy to count the occult babies as double. Cause I had vampire. I had vampire twins, so those would have counted as like four. But doesn't that seem like not fair? Cause they're like I guess the occult sims are different when they're teens, but they're no different as as like babies all the way up to teens. So I don't know. Are you trapped? Is that what's happening? Can you not put the baby to bed because of your... What are you doing? Can you feed this baby? Get fed by your sibling. Come on. Feed the rat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll feed the rat. I have to fix this first. It's very important. Okay, can you... Um... Soothe to sleep and then play lullaby. After you feed that one, put yours to sleep too. Okay, now you can feed the rat. It, the rat is fine! 
The rat's food was full. You guys made me think the rat was dying or something, but its food is full. All right. Almost in bed? Almost in bed? Soothe to sleep. Play a lullaby. Oh my goodness. It's a miracle. Okay, get to bed. Don't cry. <gasps> yes! Okay, I'm gonna kick the teens out now. I needed them for helping with that, but now I can kick them out. I am ready. Okay. Simsy would never let a rat die. No, my I've never had in the Sims a pet rat die. Never not once a single time has that happened to me. <laughs> and it definitely didn't happen twice today. To be fair, the first time, it, the rat died of old age. So that doesn't count. That's not my fault and that's fine. The, the rat lived a long life. That's just how life works, it's normal. All right, let's get rid of these kids. Um, so I can kick out all of the older ones because they all aged up into young adults already. So the house is suddenly much smaller. Much less going on. You can give youth theorem to the rats, but here's the thing, I'm kind of okay with the rats dying because it means that we can get more of the names spun from like the the list of suggestions so it's funny and like it means we can get more names so it's like not that big of a deal we have a lot of like we have a lot more names than we can actually use so it doesn't hurt to use some extra you know okay so you are not going to give birth for a while have you even taken a pregnancy test yet Oh, I didn't even take the pregnancy test. Oh, yikes. Well, I'll go do that, I guess. And then we can get some leftovers. Why do you have a rat and not a cat or dog? Is there a reason? Well, the reason is that um, the max household size is eight sims. So the cats and dogs count as part of your household size. Um, and the rats don't. <laughs> so it doesn't take a household slot. Um, I have my I have a mod to increase the household size max, but you can't go into cast that way because you might delete a sim by accident and stuff. So it's just, um, uh oh, sorry, I yawned. I didn't mean to. Um, I don't want to use that for like everyday gameplay, basically. All right, happy harvest fest. Are you gonna get your grade up today? I hope so. You can go work on a school project. Oh, and you shouldn't be sad about anyone dying. You didn't even know them. So, <laughs> when do you end stream? Um, usually after about three hours, but I, I feel a little bit determined to wait until this baby is born, because then we'll have had 50 babies. So, um, I'm kind of wanting to play a little bit longer. What's wrong with you? I don't like this lost tooth business, it bores me. Okay, maybe you can make a grand meal. So everybody can have some tofurkey after school. Okay, the regular end stream as soon as we get a new infant. Yeah, right? I'm gonna regret it so much when I actually start. Maybe I won't cook. You know what I should do instead of cooking? I should wake up one of the babies. Maybe I'll wake up this one so I can start taking care of it while the other one is still asleep because I can give it a bubble bath. That'll be good. Okay, both of you two study hard at school today. And now we're home alone with infants. So yikes. Okay, then you can get fed by Rosa after she bathes you. Okay, first bath milestones. Now we're gonna get fed. So that's also good. And then your needs are doing pretty well. I can get carried over here. Come on. Okay, now you can start looking at your toys. Cause your, um, your stuff is mostly just up to whatever you end up doing. Okay, leave me alone. I'll let this one keep sleeping. And I'll let that one keep playing, I guess, for a little bit longer. 
I can't wait until we have the 50th one. Oh, you know what I wanted to do also was take care of this stuff. I keep forgetting I even have the garden, so. Oh, I could try to appease the gnomes and I'll get some seed packets. That'll be good. <laughs> okay, so this baby, basically they have to get three milestones in each category. So we need one more social one and then one more of these fine motor ones. And then we can age this one up. Play with toys, 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 play with toys. We manage these twins quite well, I think. So that's like almost a miracle, dare I say. First blowout milestone unlocked. That is really good. I'll let it keep sleeping and then I'll bathe it. My Sam has been earning money from painting, um, but also we get so much, like we get so much mail with gifts from like the previous kids and stuff um, that it honestly works out quite well. I can donate to charity because we get paid so often. Oh, I think she's glitched. Okay, that's fine. I will come wake this kid up and then bathe it. I will give a bubble bath to this one. Grab milestone unlocked. That's what I wanted. Okay, try to go night night. Okay, little one. Good night. Good night. Oh, it worked. That kid sleeps really easily. Okay. Give bath to that baby. Yeah. Now I'm kind of excited to try and, oh, did I bubble bath the wrong baby? Maybe that was the problem. I'm kind of excited to build the new house. I don't know what, when we'll do that, but maybe, let me look at my schedule. Cause I'm kind of like, I'm kind of interested in the new house concept. Maybe we could try and do that on Monday. We could start it on Monday. It's gonna take me a long time. But. Might, maybe it'd be fun to start it though. I don't know what style I'll go for. I'm not really sure about that. We'll have to see how it goes. Does it need fed too? Okay, you have to feed me also. Come here, don't put me down. You have to feed me, okay? Feed me, feed me! I hate when they do that. Feed me, feed me. Okay. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> you can't trust these Sims. They're not very good at taking care of their kids. <sighs> How pregnant are you? Second trimester in seven hours. Ugh. All right. Maybe put the kid down now because its needs are all fine. Come on, put the kid down. There we go, buddy. Now you gotta look at your toys a bunch of times. Grades are up. Oh, that is such a relief. Okay. We might be able to get this sim out of the house by this weekend. If we try hard enough, because she can become a teen now. How about you? Did you get a B at least? No, still a C student. Okay. Yikes. Um, Alina, I'm live here early today because I, I have plans later. Um, you know, if you're around a lot, you might know my, my friend uh, Goose Kingdom, Hope from the chat. Um, she's actually coming to Orlando today, so I'm gonna hang out with her tonight, um, and therefore I will not be able to stream later. So instead of canceling stream, um, I am streaming now. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. No, Millie, it wasn't on purpose. It was because it was glitched. <laughs> I still haven't been able to get it to work. I don't know how to, it won't save to my library. It keeps being like, this is impossible to save to your library. So I don't really know how to, anyway, I'm not doing that right now. I need to have this baby first, but. Um, I was having some bugs, so it's not intentional. <laughs> I've tried <laughs> multiple times. It's really annoying. Um, okay. I don't know how to get the baby to get like the, the coup milestone. It feels like they just get it on their own. And people always say, oh, talk to them, then they'll get it, but then it doesn't work. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 
Oh, how are your needs doing? Did you fix your- No, 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 you didn't fix your fun. That kid got its grab milestone. That's good. Can you try and play peekaboo with your sibling? You're not gonna get aged up this weekend anyway, so... Yeah, I would love to know how much money we've gotten from the money trash can by this point, because we've got so much. Oh, maybe you should try and play peekaboo with this one, because the other one is busy. Try it. Try it, try it, try it. You're getting your social skill up. <laughs> Oh wait, you're supposed to age up! I haven't aged you up yet! Oh, I meant to! You're supposed to be a teen! Oh, I'm so silly. Yikes. Okay. Here we go. My sim is a teen. Add the birthday candles. Put that away. You need to go work on another project. See if we can get some school performance boost from it. Okay. Money trash can is number one item The Sims needs in real life. Yeah, I agree. I really, really, really agree. Ugh. Also, yeah, someone just asked, there is a running list of the names. We have a spreadsheet, which um, I know the mods have been linking in chat. Toe and mouth milestone unlocked. And yet you still don't have the, the milestone from talking. Did you say you finished it? Okay, do another one. Oh, she's sick, uh-oh. Yeah, I wish the money trash can had more swatches too. It's so good. It'd be nice if it had some like, easier to use swatches. Okay, no, there's no swatches in any other pack or anything. Um, it just doesn't have more swatches. Well, that one's in bed. I guess I can try and get this one to be put to bed too. I'll try it now. Would you say I have this challenge down to a science? You know, maybe. We have like some serious methods at work. I think we've gotten pretty decent at it, I would say. Um, oh, wrong sim. I meant to play a lullaby for you. Okay. Everyone in bed? Good. That's good. Third trimester in 16 hours. Okay, well, we wanted to have another baby. Maybe I can try and get to know Rashida so she can be the next person, just because she's there. We'll get ready for it. And then we can hopefully get those kids aged up. Are you here yet? Okay, hi. I'm gonna come kiss your hands. I don't know if you're gonna like it, but... Yeah, this sim is from Cottage Living, right? I think so. Okay, you did like that. Um, give cooking tips. Boast about family. Invite to feel baby. Ask about day. Okay, then I will romance you a little bit. Embrace. Beguile. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Shella hides it in a kitchen counter. I know a lot of people do that with these and pretend it's a cutting board. Um, I don't really care. I think it's kind of goofy looking, so I kind of like it at times. But I know that a lot of people think it's ugly, so... Um, yeah, there's lots of CC versions that have more swatches and stuff, obviously, but... As we know, I don't really use all that much uh, custom content, so... All right, everybody to bed. Okay, you have both kissed now. What I'm gonna do next is take a photo with you so I can get it ready for the basement. And now they'll be ready to woohoo next time we play. So, that'll be good. Or if the baby is born. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna be live for. I don't really, I don't know. I have so much to do before Hope gets here, but I don't know, we'll see. Add frame. This is baby number 51. It's Rashida Watson. Okay. I will make sure I put 
51 on here as well. I know this is really zoomed out, I'm sorry. Rashida Watson, there we go. So it's all prepared for next time. Do you think I'd make a video centered around roofing builds? I have done that before. I think I have a couple roofing tutorial type videos on YouTube if you're looking for that kind of thing. Um, obviously they're quite, they're a little bit older now, but. Um, yeah, the baby count is 49. That's because we're about to give birth to baby number 50. We're pregnant with baby number 50. But in advance of my pregnancy, uh, in advance of giving birth, we're trying to get the next baby lined up and ready to go so that we can get pregnant again as soon as it becomes time. So, anyway. We're just, we're just working ahead a little bit so that we're ready. Um, Harvest Fest was awful, apparently. <laughs> Uh, okay. You need to go out to sleep. What do you think you're doing? You have to get, you need to get aged up tomorrow. It's very important. So that way I can get rid of you over the weekend. Oh, Bree, hey, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming by the Twitch streams. Hopefully you have fun with us over here. Um, we have a good time, I think. All right. This baby is awake. Can you like... He's crying. Maybe I can come play peekaboo with you so I can try and get you to have the next milestone. Yeah, chat is naming the babies. More so than just chat, they were all suggested by people that um, donated to our charity fundraiser back in May. Slept through the night milestone. I don't need a slept through the night milestone. I need that, I need the coup milestone. Yes, okay, I can age this one up now. Okay, that's good. We need to have two milestones in every category, except for the life events one, because I don't really, the one, they get one for being born. Like, I don't think that really matters, so I kind of ignore that. Um, yeah, I, I did not name any of the babies. They are, they're all picked with a random number generator, so. Um, okay. Come on. That's not a bad trait. Okay, good. Uh, kid, you can get yourself some food. And then I will have your mom help bathe you afterward. You're awake. You can use the bathroom and take a shower. Well, that's good. We're getting close to being ready to have the baby, so. No, Millie, if you bulldoze a lot, your furniture gets deleted. If you move out with your furniture, it goes into your inventory. But if you bulldoze, it'll all get deleted. So you can't bulldoze and keep your furniture. Let's serve some food up, shall we? All right, grab a serving of that. I don't cook. <laughs> I don't cook, I just use this. Um, all right. You are feeling good. Hopefully you can get a B at least today. That would be good. Um, can you feed a tree and clean the habitat for this thing? And then I'll probably come feed the baby. That'll be our next step. Baby care, feed, breastfeed, okay. Okay. Oh, hi Shella. How are you doing? Good, I hope. I'm not. <laughs> I'm doing horribly right now. Ew, it pooped on me. Did you see that? Oh my god, you have to feed it. 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 Send alone. Okay. You're gonna need a bath in a minute. But you could probably just sleep in the meantime. Oh no, I think you ate. <laughs> I actually think my sim ate before school. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Okay, 
right, baby is fed. Baby needs a bath. We'll start there. Have I played Planet Zoo? Yeah, I actually have played a fair amount of Planet Zoo. It's been a couple years, to be honest, since I played um, a lot, but I used to really like that game. I was, like, obsessed with Planet Zoo YouTubers back in the day. But it's been a little bit since I've watched a lot of Planet Zoo content. All right. Would you like to talk to the baby? Play peekaboo in hopes that it gets the next milestone? Because that would be really good for me. If it gets the next milestone, I can force the baby to be born early because I'm willing to cheat it. <sighs> yeah, Shella is really good at Planet Zoo. She is like really, really good at Planet Zoo. I'm gonna need to have my Sim take a shower. I'm deep in my City Skylines era right now though, unfortunately, so... Um, I have not been playing a lot of Planet Zoo. Roll over to Tummy Milestone Unlocked. Oh my god, if you have all these extra milestones but not the talking one, come on, you've got three in all categories. So I think I can skip the Koo milestone, right? Because look how many milestones it has. Yeah, I think um, Lil Simsy gets to pick the rules and that's the role that I'm picking. Time to go. Age up Sim, no, oops, sorry. Help blow out candles. Broccolina, okay. <sighs> yeah, I've been playing a lot of City Skylines too. Um, I've really, 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 really been enjoying it. City Skylines like scratches my brain in the best way. I've genuinely never, it, I, it fascinates me. I watch so many people play it too. Like I just really like it in a way that is different from a lot of the other games that I play. Because I don't really necessarily watch that many people play a lot of games, but City Skylines, I am obsessed with watching people play. I just think it's so cool. I love that game. It's a it's a city builder, right? So in it, you like build out like road layouts and transportation networks, and you zone everything, and you build a city. It's actually kind of hard, um, but it's really cool. Oh, Broccolina is really cute. All right, kiddo, time for you to go to bed. You can sleep in a little bit because it's kind of late. And um, how pregnant are you? Oh, third trimester. Would you look at that? Um, oh my God, she's in labor. <laughs> wow, I had no idea she was that close to going into labor. <laughs> No way, did you guys just see that? It was like all of a sudden she went into labor. <laughs> Listen, I wanna have the 15th baby, okay? I want to have it and I have a lot of work to do today. So we have to get a move on. Okay. This is baby number 50, by the way. Let's just point that out. This is kind of exciting. Um, so baby number 50, here's the spreadsheet. Um, obviously Jeb Harris was the dad. And we're gonna use a random number generator to see its name. 581. Five, eight, I went past it. 581. Dallas! Oh, in honor of this person's cat! That's so cute! I like that actually a lot. That's really good. All right, Dallas. You have just absolutely saved my day, Dallas. You being born just then? is a life-changing experience for me. Okay, next plan. I need to call up Rashida really quickly and we have to get pregnant and kill her. Come on. Hello, Rashida, I'm here to offer you a rose and then we're gonna boohoo in a bush. So here's the thing, right? We're halfway, we're halfway, except, <laughs> and I'm so sorry to break this to you, um, Oh, grades are up, I can age up Richard too. We're halfway, except for the fact that during my charity fundraiser, um, someone asked me, would you restart the baby challenge if you raised $500,000 for St. Jude? And I was kind of like, sure, okay. Cause I thought that's not possible. We won't raise $500,000. Well, wouldn't you know it? We did, <laughs> we did. So I had to restart. So what happened was we decided as a community to just keep going from where we were. We had 24 babies at the time. So um, 
We have to have 124 babies total. So we're not really halfway. But to me, it feels like I'm halfway, because it's still the 100 baby challenge, even if in reality, it's the 124 baby challenge. But we're not actually halfway yet. We have to do more. So. Yeah. Um, don't send everyone home. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to check MC pregnancy. Oh, not pregnant. Uh-oh. Try again. Try again. Try again. Try again. Okay, and you just aged up, so you could probably um, help with the baby. That might be good while you're here. Um, bottle feed. Age up. You can talk to this bear a couple times. Okay. Well, we'll see if we get pregnant this time. Hopefully it works. I might- she might end up dying from woohooing if I keep doing this. That'll be really inconvenient. Alright, are we pregnant? Yay! Okay. Very exciting. I already got our picture, right? With her? Yeah, we did get it already. Okay, um... Would you like to... Can you come over here with me, please, Rashida? I need you to come off the edge of the lot, because we need to kill you. Oh, Dallas aged up, okay. Um, let's come chat over here. Dallas has officially aged up. I'm really overwhelmed. Can we just woohoo her to death, please? I mean, I guess we could. But, I don't know. Oh no, 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 oh no. Okay. Can you put the baby on this? Or I could just use the mod to kill her so that it'll be faster and I can start taking care of the baby. Oh, she's on my lot now. Okay. MC command center. Sim commands. Maintain sim. Kill sim. Death by over- oh, I was gonna press overexertion, but then I hit overheating. So I guess she's gonna die from overheating. That's a shame. Oh, can you add the birthday candles back to this too? That would be really helpful, thanks. All right. Hurry up. Oh, please. None of you care about this. You don't even know her. You don't even know her. Shh. Okay. Oh, wrong sim. Go here. Alright. Well. <laughs> Hurry up. Why does everybody ask why I kill her? Every time I have to kill a sim, they always say, why do you- why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why not? Okay, we have 50 babies officially, by the way. I'm changing the title, I'm pressing the button. Babies? 50. Okay. <laughs> We're- our pregnancy is set, our babies are born, we've had 50, 50 kids. Um, life is good. Life is good. Eating for two. Alright, I'm gonna- I think last thing I'll do today on stream is kick out Richard. Um, and then I'll probably end the stream here for now, because I have some work to finish today. Um, but thank you all for hanging out with me. This has been a lot of fun, um, and also a lot of chaotic misery, um, but that's okay. <laughs> it's been really good. Um, Richard gets to leave us, which is really, really, really exciting. Richard, I think, was born today. So... Uh, born and gone, all in the same stream, which is pretty fun. Congrats on 50 babies. Thank you, Kayla. This is really big for me. I'm feeling very relieved. This is a, a big, uh, big achievement for us. Okay, bye, Richard. Bye. We've made a lot of progress, and I think next time, next time we play with this save, I might build us a new house. I might try and make us something new. Oh, wrong sims. This person goes this way. Okay, but I might try and make us something new next time we play. All right, 50 babies, <laughs> we did it. All right, well, I think I'm gonna go and find someone to raid. Um, 
If you're just tuning in and you're confused, like, why are you here right now, Kayla? <laughs> it's noon, you're never here this time. Uh, I streamed early today because I, I have some plans later, so I can't be live later. Um, so instead of canceling stream, I just went live a little bit early um, when I had time. So I will not be here later. Um, and I, I'm thinking about maybe being here tomorrow, but I'm not 100% sure if I will. Um, it kind of depends. Um, it kind of kind of depends. I'm not really sure what I want to do. Um, I also don't know who all is live. So maybe we can go over and say hello to, oh, I have an idea. Um, there's a streamer called Allison who's playing Animal Crossing and I kind of want to watch. That kind of sounds like fun to me. Um, maybe we should go over there and say hello. Oh, I didn't, I just typed slash user instead of slash raid. <laughs> I love Animal Crossing. So I kind of want to go over and, and uh, say hi to Allison. Um, looks like we're in a fauna cosplay and maybe doing some terraforming, which is very exciting. <laughs> but thank you all for hanging out. Magic, thanks for the resub. I will catch you all probably tomorrow morning if I'm gonna be live. I don't normally stream on Sundays, but if not, on Monday we might do some building in The Sims. Um, and I will see you all later, okay? Thank you everybody for hanging out. Have a great rest of your Saturday. I'll miss you later um, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, wait, did I not start the raid? Is the raid started or is it? I have raid in progress. I can't see it. Uh oh, it's not showing up in my chat. I'm refreshing and seeing if it pops up. Sometimes the raid is like not visible on my end. I don't know if I can start the raid because it. Oh, now I can see it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it's it's gonna. Um, I think it's gonna send us soon. So I will catch you all uh, there. Thank you for hanging out. Um, and I'll press the button. Okay. Bye, everybody. That was so weird. <laughs> the raid was kind of glitched. Hopefully, it works. Okay. Bye. <laughs> and stop streaming.